All right, here we go. Nova, the birth, part one. All that good stuff. So this should be kind of interesting. Uh, I guess we'll see how this goes. Kind of happy there's going to be a lost soul limit, to be perfectly honest. <laughs> I don't know. I ended up finishing on Pantoresian Re Reliquary, so, um... Yeah, just not having to deal with that stuff in, like, Boom and stuff like that. Actually, no, it's not so much Pantoresian, it's uh, more, um, the Mucus Flow. My bad. What was I thinking? <laughs> Alright, so... I'm going to go ahead and take out this first area here, and then we'll figure out what the map name is. Yeah, it might take a second. Okay. We got the snipers, at least. Alright, that should give us... Hello, up there. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna just run inside. Ah, that works. Okay, so this is, a uh, Outpost by Primeval. Yeah, do I want to waste ammo on these guys? Yeah, I kind of do. Kind of just do my usual thing of just trying to get as close to 100% kills as possible. Well, we got one secret to find, so I think I'm going to make an attempt to look for that. Are all these... Yeah, it just kind of follows the normal pattern. Okay, no secret there. Well, probably not. Yeah, you know, <laughs> worth a shot, I guess. Uh, oh, nice little helipad. Found the red key already. It's uh, not too shabby. It's, uh, I admit, a little bit annoying pistol shooting, but, uh, you know, what you gonna do? That's kind of a nice little touch up there, though. Outpost indeed. Ugh. I say it's part of the problem is the uh, the block map. When you're only shooting one bullet, it makes it very, very noticeable. Okay. I mean, a shotgun would be nice. That works too. Found the secret. Okay, maybe not so much against those fellas, but against imps. Yeah, I could use berserk. Or you know, people who uh, make the mistake of being too close. That works, too. Wait. There we are. Mm. <laughs> I am not good at this. Ah, jeez! Okay. <laughs> that worked. Kinda. <laughs> if you squint a little bit. Or more like just completely close your eyes. Uh, take you out, and then punch a size you. Just lightly tenderize, no big deal. There you go. Fantastic. Well, that's 100% on map one. It's got to count for something, right? Oop. That seems maybe a little unnecessary, but that's okay. All right. Well, off to a fairly decent start. So that was a pretty solid opening map. Um, really nothing special, but you know, it works. Six out of ten. Administration Center by Jaws in Space. Hmm. Kind of keeping with the uh, same type of teleporters that brought us here. I forgot to... Forgot to do the pistol start parameter. Give me a second. I keep doing that. Oh, wait. Didn't specify the skill. Ah, what the hell. I'll just do this. Id Clevo 2. Fantastic. Everything is fine. Okay, so now we should be pistol starting all these. Do a little bit of peekaboo shooting on these. I don't know. I gotta say, maps like these really appreciate make me appreciate stuff like uh, Antares and Reliquary, where you start with a beefed up pistol, or I should say a pistol substitute. I don't know if I can go down there and jump back up, I'll just leave the magazine behind. I guess. Oop, oh, red key. Yellow key, no key. And they really like starting off with the pistol and kind of keeping you stuck with the pistol for a little while, don't they? Okay. There we are. Oh, there's a shotgun. I will gladly take that. 
Although I don't really have any ammo for it, so I guess I'm just going back to the pistol. Okay, so this looks like a uh, <laughs> rather creative restroom. <laughs> uh, proportions are maybe a tiny bit off, considering I think I can just literally... Uh, I can't quite go into the water, but that's okay. I think that's supposed to be a sink, but it's looking a little bit, uh, I don't know, inaccessible. Very hard to reach. Good evening, Francis. Wow, this music is kind of loud. I'm going to bump that down a little bit. There we go. Restroom part two. Oh, I remember seeing screenshots of this. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> so I guess if these are the uh, toilets, I guess these would be the urinals. Maybe? Yeah, yeah, I think this is a little bit removed from a Duke 3D restroom. But, uh, I don't know. An attempt was made. <laughs> wow, a lot of hit scanners here. Berserk, I mean, if you keep up with the hit scanners, that Berserk might be kind of lost on us. Let's go ahead and pistol snipe that dude. I'd love a chain gun, but. Yeah. No respect for the, uh, rapid-fire weapons, I guess. So is this... platforming? That's a secret. That was me hitting a wall. Right, I want to try to get that shotgun over there. Love the ammo. It's a little too far to the right. It's pretty easy to make that, though. A little awkward, but, you know, still very doable. Now I wonder if I can jump and kind of grab that shoddy. Mm. Oh, there we go. Fantastic. It's kind of a nice little control area. I gotta say, it's a little off-putting that the restrooms don't have doors. I mean, I've seen restrooms that don't have doors, but they're not... You don't usually just kind of wander in and everything's exposed. Ah, oh, well. I'm probably thinking about this too much. <laughs> hey, knights. Oof. Mm. Okay, there we go. Ah, now that we have a proper hit scan deterrent and lost soul deterrent. Um hmm. Yeah, under uh definitely underdeveloped. I would say these are I mean, they would kind of fit into the upper echelons of, like, 94, 95 wads, though. And I do have an appreciation for that era, so, uh... Yeah, I think I'll enjoy these. Ooh. It's a nice little chain gunner ambush there. Definitely leaning in on the easier side, but... Ah, uh, you know, that's good. That's fine for the, uh, initial maps. Uh, you know what? Those don't count towards the kill percent. Oh, they can come in here. Okay. They were just being awkward and shy, I guess. Hmm. Yeah, what the hey. Let's deal with them. Is that it? Is it possible to go down there? Oh. <laughs> there we go. Ah, yeah, that's fair. I, I mean, it's kind of like the first episode of Scythe in a lot of ways. It's just... If you have any real experience with the game, there's really not much here for you. That was a little spicy, though. Kinda. Not so much with the chain gun, but, you know. I would like to uh, berserk punch those demons, though. If, I can, if they can get to me. Ugh, that was awkward. There we go. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Well, you know. I got it the second time. I was just showing off my uh, elite parkour skills, that's all. Oh yeah, I think that's, that's definitely one benefit that Scythe had was uh, being a little bit more of a coordinated project, because uh, if I understand the purpose of Nova, this was more meant to be just sort of a... Uh, 
kind of a community project specifically aimed at like beginner level mappers. Is that pretty much correct? Oh, and that is actually the exit. Which kills am I missing? And which secret am I missing? I see a two-sided line def over there. Oh, okay. Oop. Yeah, this way. Yeah, so I can kind of understand it being a little bit... Oh, hello. I can understand it being a bit on the rough side. Ooh. Wasn't a bad secret, I gotta say. Now I need to figure out what it opens. Hmm. There it is. Found it. Yeah, I did notice from uh, looking at the text files that Nova 3 actually uses Boom, so I'm kind of curious to see if, uh, how well utilized that ends up being. Wow, this is, uh, <laughs> turned up the heat a little bit in this secret area. So I don't understand why you would hide all the combat in a secret area like this, because it doesn't seem like there's really any rewards here. It's literally just if you want to make things more interesting. Hmm. Oh, this is from 2011. I didn't realize it was from that far, that long ago. Of course, I'm also having a hard time reconciling that 2011 was 11 years ago. But, ah well. What can you do? Oop. Hello. Hello there, people. Uh, yeah, come on. Fall down. Deflate. I gotta say, this area out here actually looks pretty solid. It's kind of moody. It has a actually a pretty nice fight. One enemy left somewhere. It's down here, maybe. Yep. Alrighty. <laughs> Why? <laughs> All right. Well. Not sure which items I'm missing. I'm assuming they're probably just like little vials, helmets, stuff like that. Mm. They don't seem to be... Are there any out here that I missed? Uh, well. That's good enough for me. Oh, yeah. Well, you know. It's going to be a different experience playing it with normal weapons, so I guess we'll see how that goes. A bit more uh, amped up in uh, Reliquary. Administration Center completed. What's next? Uh, is it, mm. <sighs> yeah. Water Treatment Plant by Mr. Mister the Joshmon? Huh. Nice. Yeah, let's just go. Or not. Hmm. Wow, that was mostly kind. Ow, my face. Hmm. Uh, already missing my berserk. Blue key. Yeah. It's kind of nice when they use those uh, that type of lighting. I've always kind of considered, like, if I make my own map, just recoloring that and using that to uh, mark off the key doors. I don't know, just change up the formula a little, little bit. Mm. That was a good shot. Okay. I don't really want to deal with Mancubi using a regular shoddy, so I'm just going to see if there's something better. And uh, not that chainsaw, because... Oh boy. Kind of grown to loathe the chainsaw after playing the mucus flow. Because, <laughs> my goodness, that weapon is the most unreliable hunk of excrement I think I've ever seen in FPS. Okay, maybe not in any FPS, but at least in Doom. Okay. Damn it, I can't get that other ammo box. I'm actually kind of con considering whether I want to reshoot the uh, mucus flow video or at least just like maybe extend it and I don't know maybe add a second playthrough to it 
Because I ended up getting kind of stumped on it for a very long time because, as it turns out, there's bugs that prevent it from being completable in PR Boom Base ports, which made me very salty. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. Don't think it's possible for me to give that map a fair shake. Although I do respect it for what it is. Really, I don't know if I'm going to enjoy it anymore on a second playthrough. Just, uh, I don't know. Went through it. It was definitely an experience. That's, that's for damn sure. Just, uh, not the type that I enjoy. But I think it's pretty safe to say that there's... Probably nothing like it in id games or anywhere else. Exasperating. Yeah, it's a good way of putting it. Impy, there you are. Damn camo imps. Impiflage. And... There we go. It's probably the most damage I took in this entire run so far. Yeah, it's one of those ones I, I just... I do want to give it a fair shake. I think a second playthrough would be better. I'm going to have to edit the video down a bit so that it's, uh... Oh, jeez. Not literally a half hour of me figuring out why the heck I can't seem to press the switch. <sighs> Still does kind of annoy me a bit that it was designed, like, literally designed for a boom-compatible... megawad, And it clearly wasn't tested under boom. <laughs> So, I don't know. If I play it again, it'll probably be under uh, Z-Doom, just to get the best possible experience, because that seems to be where it was mostly... mostly intended for. Yeah, that was, uh, very unfortunate. Because it was one of those things where I was kind of in a, a fairly neutral mood, like I wasn't super thrilled. But then when I realized that that was happening, because I, I literally just in mid-video had to check Doom Wiki. And that just made me upset. <laughs> oh well. Fucking Baron, really? Um. Okay. I... Uh, well, hey, at least it's stuck on the door track. Really, though? Fucking Baron? Okay. Uh, <sighs> well, there's one enemy left. Just one. Hopefully it's not another Baron. Because that would make me very upset. Three secrets. Huh. Hmm, if I were another enemy, just a random enemy, where would I be hiding? Oh, wait a minute. That opens. Not sure how to open it. At least not just yet. About these. Are any sides different? Does not look like it. These switches are... Yeah, they were both for these doors. Hmm, can't activate those. Torches are both green. Hmm. Punching doesn't work. Um, also, high prouncer. <laughs> Just saw you in there. And I don't know, man. The, uh... <laughs> People keep rolling in. Oh, yeah, this guy. <laughs> Strangely fitting that he's in an area that very closely resembles the mucus flow. <laughs> Should really be careful of no clipping fireballs. Ow. How about just fireballs in general? Wait, that's open. Excuse me. Well, yeah, obviously. <laughs> Wouldn't be a YouTube channel without a ton of thumbs downs and various comments not related to the video, and I don't know. I don't even know. Oh, hi. Okay, there's two secrets. Actually, pretty good secrets in this, although I don't really know what opens this up. So that kind of, that's a little bit vexing. Hmm. 
Okay. It's me avoiding the chainsaw at all costs. Okay, now that's open. Where? Huh. What is it? Ah, damn you. It's a really awkward switch to hit. Oh, that would have been... That would have been nice to have. JB. I'm guessing initials. And this was not tagged as a secret. Interesting. <laughs> I don't know. It seems like it would be a good secret. Right. So, is there anything on the... Aha. I think I found it. So, that'd be in the... Wait. Oh, right. The red key door had a teleporter. There we go. So that would be over yonder. Huh. Yeah, I wonder if that whole thing with the super shoddy was just an accidental... Accidentally unflagged sector or something. But, yay, there we go, 100%. Mr. The Joshmon. Okay. Alright, map four. Factory... Factory Factor by Evil Ned. Yeah. I kind of wish the map name would stick around for, like, another extra second. But, uh, I don't know. I guess if I really want that, I could just... I don't know, throw it on a 486 with a hard drive. That would probably work. Oh, man, the things we put up with back in the day. Of course, then again, cutting-edge game. So it was worth it. Okay, that actually would be really nice to have, but... Hmm. Oh, hi. I want your gun. Give me your gun. Thank you. And... Yep, heard you. Got a notification. Uh... No. <laughs> so I saw this. Is that... Hmm. Ah, that ground is bothering me. <laughs> Different floor texture. Wonder if the author decided to change the floor texture and then just kind of forgot to change that particular sector. It's almost what it looks like. Uh. Oh, damn. Had a bullets. There you are. Okay. Oh, yeah, it's... It is really funny, just when you look back at just the way we did things in the DOS era. It just seems really hokey nowadays. Still have a lot of nostalgia for it. Okay. Uh, actually, now that you mentioned, uh, mentioned grading, I realize I've been kind of neglecting that. Oh, boy. I don't know, last one I'd probably give a, maybe a 7 out of 10. Definitely above average. Map 2, probably a 6 out of 10. Just, I don't know, they're all kind of ho-hum so far. But, I'm sure things will heat up pretty soon. This one's, um, I don't know, it's kind of giving me... TNT light vibes in a way. It's probably all the metal texturing. Very kind of industrial look. Obviously doesn't have the same type of uh, demonic enemy placement, but yeah, just in terms of overall aesthetics. Uh, yeah, it's almost like an industrial tech base, that, that sort of look. Which I do dig it. Right. Jeez, D minus. I mean, it wasn't anything really exciting. That seems a little harsh, though. Hmm. Right. Of course, then again, that's, uh... <laughs> I imagine the second playthrough would just feel even more ho-hum, so I guess I kind of understand where he's coming from. I'm coming at it from the perspective of someone who only had to play the map once. So I'm sure it would kind of grade after a little while. Okay. 
It's actually kind of starting to feel repetitive. Oh, wait. I just spoke too soon. Actually, that was a pretty tame trap overall. Uh, nope, no Revenant yet. I think the only mid-tier and Oh no, there's been a Baron. That's right. So that was kind of- that's kind of worse. Especially seeing as I didn't find a uh, super shoddy or a rocket launcher before dealing with them. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's- yeah, that's where I saw the bathroom. Yep. <laughs> I mean, it was- it was kind of adorable in its own way. Okay. So, back here, I'm assuming... I'm hearing a lot of heavy breathing. Yeah, I kind of agree with the whole, uh, that last secret fight, because it's like, normally with fights like that, you expect to be, I don't know, get some sort of tangible reward for them, but you really didn't in that case. Like, the only reward you got for uh, going through the fight was just being able to get 100% kills. Oh, and a Blur Sphere that you really didn't need by that point. And that was kind of a shame, because that was a actually a good-looking arena. And, uh... On top of that, it had the, really, the only interesting fight in the WAD. Or not the WAD. <laughs> it being a little bit, uh, too prejudicial there. But, uh, in the map, at least. Okay. Yeah, I don't mind the shotgun, the standard shotgun too much, but, uh... Depends on when I'm fighting with it. Hey, Jickus! Welcome- oh, jeez. You know... As I was saying... <laughs> Boy... This is the type of thing you don't want to fight with a normal shotgun. You know, something with a thousand freaking health points. Ugh. Yeah, let's just go into the raw blood. I'm assuming it's probably hurt floor. It is. I actually kind of wish that I would have grabbed the uh, berserk before fighting the Baron because that would have been faster. All right, and up. Yes, my super weapon of this map. You know, I think I would have had a more positive opinion if this map didn't have a Baron. It didn't feel like it should have had a Baron. Like that, that could have been a Revenant. I think that would have been a better enemy for uh, that particular area. Baron's just too damn tanky, and I actually... It's not even fast enough to really make that a threat. Oh. Silly me. Is that the... Yeah, that's the exit switch. Nope, not yet. Actually, this midi is a lot quieter than that first one. The first one was, like, <laughs> basically overpowering everything. Yeah, it might be a little much. Let's go with... We'll go with nine. Why not? All right, so secret areas. And the remaining five kills. Hmm. So, okay, you can't just do the conventional method of just poking the crates. What about this? There it is. When in doubt, poke the computer panels, I guess. So we got that. That's another one. Nope. Hmm. Okay, how would I go about doing that? There's nothing I could really climb on, I don't think. At least nothing I could then proceed to jump off of. Because this has this boring... Oh, uh, wait a minute. No, that's too long. It's too long of a jump. Hmm. Right. So is there any... Anything up here? 
that might allow me to go over and bridge that gap. No. Let's go ahead, go ahead and poke these, I guess. Hmm. Are there any other secrets that I could see? Nope. Oh, kinda. Maybe. I'd say this level looks really nice. Kind of fell off after a while, though. Really? You're gonna f basically force me to get a chainsaw? Yeah, no. Uh, okay. The teleporter, yeah, it just brings me back up here. See, that's why I think that having a revenant instead of a baron would have been good, because the revenant's faster, kind of has you backing up. And that's like the perfect enemy to just kind of add stress when there's a bridge nearby. Barons are just kind of slow, clunky, and overly tanky for situations like that. Or even a Hell Knight if they didn't want to go quite to that level. Man, I can't run along the wall or anything like that. That texture's misaligned. Ooh. Uh, there's one enemy that is probably in there. Hmm. Okay, any hints over here? Any switches? Doesn't look like it. Just try poking the door. Well, that's kind of neat. A little blood fall flowing into the river gives me um, sort of like her, the beginning part of Habitat vibes. That was one of the coolest parts about Habitat was just kind of how the slime ends up flying and in, flowing into the water and sort of blending with it. Which is such a shame the map feels incomplete, because it does have some nice touches to it. Okay, I think that just raises the bridge. Ah, to heck with it. Let's just uh, go ahead and exit. I doubt the secret's gonna have an enemy that really wows me anyway. It's probably gonna be just an imp or something. Okay. Factory factor. Finished. Alright, what do we got next? Has it... Hazard Facility by Kill Death. Okay. Beginning parts, uh, really giving me Doom 1 vibes. Alright, rat suit over there. Do we have anything in the doors? So we've got barrels. Actual barrels of fun. Mmm. Hell Knight, and I really don't have the ammo to deal with it. Although there is a, uh shell pack in that slime over in the other area. Hello there. Oh. How'd you folks wake up? And that definitely doesn't give me Doom 1 vibes. What about over here? Nope, just this. Is this a lift? No. Alright. Well, I'm just gonna run past him, I guess. Let me just try to pine for a better weapon. And they really, really love leaning on the shotgun, don't they? I think we've only seen one super shoddy, and it's just been in a secret. Damn it. Alright, you need to fall down. Thank you. Uh, just lost souls. Okay, good. <laughs> I wish we could see more of what Black Mesa was up to. Ahem, <laughs> Valve. Actually, no, Black Mesa wasn't really in uh, Half-Life 2. But still, I would like to see a continuation of that story that doesn't require me strapping on a headset. Okay. Just speaking of that, I still need to play Black Mesa. One of these days. Whoa. Of course, speaking of strapping on a headset, of course they did release, someone did release that uh, um, Half-Life 2 VR mod that uh, I'd really love to try out. Um, is there anything over here? Oh. The old behind the mucus flow secret. Perfect. Oh, thanks. That's... <sighs> That's why you give the player armor. Cause shit like that is really fucking cheap. 
Especially since you're locked for a few seconds after you come out of a teleporter. I think Black Mesa is kind of just the, uh, kind of a wonder, wonderful example of what can happen when the community gets together to make just kind of a modern game instead of it being a designed by community type of thing. Not that Valve normally does that type of stuff, but, um, you know, it'd actually be nice to see them make a game. I don't seem to be too keen on that nowadays. I think the only thing... You know, it's funny, I remember everybody... Can I grab that through the... Okay. I did, sweet. It's funny, because I remember id Software getting that complaint about, uh... You know, basically just all their games being tech demos, but... Look what happens every time Valve releases new hardware. They release the uh, Valve Index, and you got Half-Life Alex. They release the uh, Steam Deck, and you get that one, uh, that Aperture game. Aperture Desk Job, I think. And granted, they're cool, they're charming, and all that stuff, but still, it's a little painful to see, like, <laughs> level designed by Dario Casali for a tech demo. So that's the thing, is at least Quake, I mean, a lot of people accused it of being a tech demo, and I mean... <sighs> Well, it wasn't. It was a solid enough game on its own. Okay, it's a different thing. Oof. But it's like the stuff that Valve's been making lately, it, it, it doesn't really have any lifespan outside of just the, uh... Um... I don't know, just the novelty factor of it. The stuff that it made, despite being, well tech demos for their for the PCs at the time those at least had a following and for good reason wait this is is there anything huh seems like a very strange door okay I would say that Alex is um in the VR space, it kind of deserves its accolades, because, I mean, there's better VR games, there's more immersive VR games, but at the same time, it manages to be both reasonably immersive and still casual-friendly. Oops. Should have known. Uh, however, that's the thing. It's, um... Kind of hesitant to really give it any real awards, because it is alienating in a lot of ways, too. I mean, you've got to buy expensive VR hardware. You have to have a system that's grunty enough to actually run it. God, they love putting barons in this when you have no ammo. I don't know. I would say Quake definitely did a lot more to move the industry forward than Alex did, because Alex kind of just sort of followed and iterated on what everyone else did. Because you can argue that a lot of the things that Alex does, uh, Boneworks did better earlier. Uh, I don't know. Still a solid time, I guess. Yeah, see, I, I like VR, but I guess with when it comes to Alex, despite the fact that I've been able to play Alex since launch, I'm still steamed for the people who were waiting so long for Half-Life 3 only to have uh, Valve basically snub them at every single frickin' opportunity. It's like, they're not the company they used to be. I mean, they definitely have the overall best distribution platform on PC, but I mean, it seems to be... They seem perfectly content to make that their legacy. That and pretty much only making games for niche hardware. And for stringing along, like, decade-plus old games and <laughs> basically giving them no support. Like Team Fortress 2. I don't know, is that game still, like, considered on life support, or is it actually getting updates? in there? Kind of seems like I can. I 
Hmm. Nope, can't poke that. Alright, we're having not con yet. This is a... Oh, jeez. Infinite height BS. Sure, we'll just jump right into the fray. Why not? I still need to get to the end of Alex. Just haven't really been motivated, I guess. I got reasonably far into it, but... Eh. It was one of those things where when I was really in the mood to play it, my uh, 1080 Ti just really, really was not up to the task. Which feels kind of weird to say. Wait, this is a secret. How do I unlock you? Yeah, it's another problem with VR. <laughs> it does require a bit of uh, horsepower, especially when you get a bit like the better headsets, the current generation ones. Boy. And I don't know, when it comes to Half-Life 3, yeah, I've kind of just more or less given up hope. It's mostly just because there's been so much teasing and so little actual action. Not to mention the fact that they just sort of let, like, Mark Leadlaw just kind of escape their grasp. I don't know. It's frustrating. Okay, where the heck are the rest of the kills? Is there anything behind here? No. It's just pain. Got it. Okay. Nope, already been there. Alright, let me just do... What about that? Anything there? <laughs> what the hell, let's go for it. Is it in here? Oh, right, this thing. It really feels like this should be a something or another. that. I'm seeing like two little... Oh, those are just, uh... I think those are just... I think that's just from Monster Closet. I see, I just miss... I just miss... Blah. I miss Valve. I miss them releasing like actual games and not tech demos. Like even... I guess like later Valve when they started getting into like the Portal 2 era. You know, that was still cool, because at least they were kind of just trying to actually do something for their fans. Jeez, this is a very strange map. I think I'm just going to go ahead and exit, because I think I'm too dumb to get the secrets. Oh, I don't know why I did not expect this to open up into a full-on area. Alright. Speaking of being too dumb, I wonder why there's so many kills missing. Oh, our first pain elemental. Hello, delinquent. There we go. That's all the kills. That is the exit switch. And there's a lost soul somewhere outside of the level. Alright, well, good enough for me. Bonk. Sewage Processing by R-Jack. Oop. Anger boys. Yeah, I don't... Gaming being the mainstream, I think that's one of the reasons that I like sticking with the indie space so much, because it's just... You still kind of get that bit of innovation that you got, like, in the 90s and stuff like that. However, you're, uh, oh, jeez. Without being saddled by just all this corporate pandering to the lowest common denominator crap. Oh, come on. I still just remember, like, one of the things that kind of annoys me about a lot of games is how they'll just, like, yank the controls away from you. Instead of having, uh, 
Which I guess this is just more of a thing against modern game design. But like when games will just yank the controls out of your hands more or less and uh, give you these tutorial pop-ups constantly. Like it's one of the things that I thought was so brilliant about stuff like Breath of the Wild and actually Nintendo in general seems to generally be okay about this. Big asterisks on certain franchises, but um, they're good at kind of teaching the player through context, which is also one of the things that Valve is really good at. Oh god, yeah, Doom Eternal. <laughs> yeah, it, it, that was really guilty of that. Oh, even stuff like, I don't know, Deus Ex Human Revolution was really bad about that. It's like you'd walk down a hallway and it would pop up with a tutorial video. Come on, I mean... Especially when you look at the original Deus Ex, which was actually... Generally as probably more complex. Uh -huh, I noticed the different light pattern, hallelujah. And, uh... That didn't seem to need to bombard you with tutorials. They had like an optional tutorial level that you could play through. You know, it didn't force you every time you hit new game to, uh... Just go through their little BS obstacle course. Same with Half-Life in the uh, Hazard course. I heard a Revenant. Got our first spooky boy. Happy October, everybody. Dude, yeah. Dude, you haven't played it until to Holy crap. <laughs> yeah, you've been depriving yourself. <laughs> Or then again, I'm, I am a bit older than you, but I just remember being blown away when it first came out. But, and again, that was 2000, I would have been in high school. Or 2001? Yeah. Mmm, that looks nasty. I've actually been kind of, uh... I don't know, randomly just, um... binging Accursed Farm videos. Specifically the uh, Ross's Game Dungeon series, and uh, I actually ended up watching his videos, his three Deus Ex videos today. And yeah, it, I admit, it made me want to install one of those titles. The thing that was so frustrating about Human Revolution in particular was just that it was, oh, I don't know. It was mechanically there, but the storyline was just not up to par. To put it politely. Not to mention the environment design was a little silly because it was supposed to be a prequel and it was in a more technologically advanced <laughs> environment for whatever reason. Man, good old Unreal Engine 1. I do remember uh, on Systems of the Day, Deus Ex did not perform very well. Talking like Pentium 2. I think it was mostly just the large environments, but... Yeah, it was a little bit of a struggle to run it. Not not super bad. And with the type of game it was, I mean, it's not like Unreal Tournament where every frame mattered. So... Not too big of a deal. I'm gonna need to go through it, though. I haven't played... I haven't replayed the first one in quite a while. And there's eight secrets in this map, and I've, uh... Haven't discovered really very many of them. Is there a rad suit somewhere? Because that would be kind of swell. Love to explore that pit with the crusher. What? Oh boy. This is way too shotgun heavy for my liking. Ah. <sighs> God. Yes. Fight all the spooky boys with all the shells. Oh yeah, that was uh That was a fantastic opening level. And what I thought was kind of amazing about it was just how representative it was to the rest of the game. Like it wasn't one of those Oh great. Damn it. It wasn't one of those levels where uh you get through it and then all of a sudden, the rest of the game is just a completely different beast altogether. Like, Red Faction was guilty of that. 
like the first level was probably and I understand it to a certain de degree you know that's where the demo takes place all that good stuff but like with Red Faction for instance that was like one of the um, few maps that was actually decently representative of wow of what the game promised where the hell I don't know how I wasn't hitting him I mean, it was the one that made the most use of Geomod and all that stuff, but yeah, with Deus Ex, it actually feels like the rest of the game is even... takes even better advantage of everything. Like, it actually properly builds up. It's kind of rare to see, really, because usually the full version winds up being a little bit of a disappointment. I leave any... yeah. There's only one enemy left, though. Yeah, I've seen some uh, game companies do that too, where they'll uh, they'll make the demo level like just one of the later ones. And yeah, I, I agree. That is a pretty good approach to it. Oh. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to find all these secrets. Let's go ahead and just hit the thing. So, I don't know. Here. Combat in this so far is just very reliant on this on just the normal shotgun. It's kind of funny because these are all by different authors. Another evil Ned map. So yeah. Something strange is in the air. It's as if all has been poisoned or tainted in some way by a supernatural force. While society at large remains skeptical, you, a lone, unaffected soldier, Walk alone across a mysteriously changing urban landscape while its inhabitants remain oblivious to the devious changes you perceive before them. Although you try to deny, deep down you know you are all alone. Something evil is afoot, and the only solution is between you, a shotgun, and the corpse of an imp blasted open with a full round of shells full round of, you mean a full round of buckshot <laughs> oh, yeah. okay and oh yeah rot's demo is fantastic i also um bonus points to them for actually shipping the uh the demo level set in the actual full game oh and yeah Oh yeah, yeah, I realize it's not a mar uh, any knock against Thief 2. Because, I mean, it's kind of... Like, especially with a game like that, when you have the full version, you really want the atmosphere to build. However, when you have a uh, demo, you really need it to be kind of punchy and attractive. And it's not always conducive to atmosphere building. I actually remember with Final Fantasy VII, the uh, demo started kind of in the midst of things, like when you actually had some abilities, because can you imagine just starting from the beginning of Final Fantasy VII, where you have like, one attack? Yeah, it wouldn't make a very good demo. Uh, there you are. And I think I have... I'm trying to think, I'm... I know I have a copy of Thief, I think it was actually, uh... God, remember when you'd buy a video card and it would actually give you games with it? Pretty sure it was from that. I'm trying to think of what video card that would be. Probably my Rage Fury. The one I totally still have. No, I don't. Ah, well. Actually, I remember the ATI cards generally did come with a pretty decent number of game discs. <laughs> Funny, because like you'd get basically half the price of the card worth of games. Ooh, this map ending sucks. Okay, I'll, uh, keep my hand on the save key then. <laughs> oh, jeez. You know, you give me a berserk and then you throw a bunch of hit scanners at me. That's just kind of mean. Alright. Oh, there we go. Howdy, Discord. Well, you ended up missing the first few spooky boys, I think. So, um... I'm sure there will be more, though. Yeah, let's go do that before we drop in here. 
Is that a Baron? Yeah, sure is. I love shotgunning Barons. Actually, I have a Berserk. What am I doing? I can use the practice. Ow. It's always... You know, you always miss one dodge, and it's always a max damage fireball. Or damn near close to it, anyway. I'm gonna watch this boy, because he does just as much damage. Okay, there we go. Whew! Yeah, it's true. I guess it would be kind of early over there. Oh, <laughs> uh, well. Like I said, there's going to be more, definitely. Can't have a Doom 2 wad without an excessive number of revenants, right? Mm. I'm not liking the number of specters in here. Especially with my health being what it is. Yeah, you know, that actually that reminds me. I need to get my hands on a copy of that. I've been meaning to. Ooh, hello there. It's just such a shame with that game, because it's like they had something really special, but they just had to keep messing with it. Like, I don't know, I didn't hate Duke Nukem Forever, even with what it released as, but uh, it just, it's painful just to think of what else we could have had, like how much more it could have been. Ah, uh, well. The other unfortunate part is uh, now the, uh, now the IP is in the hands of Randy which is just a source of infinite sadness for everybody. Oh, that'd be pretty cool. Just hope they don't end up getting randied. Alright. Hmm. What did that switch do? Do these computers do anything? Yeah, it's, that's a one-time switch. Oh. I mean, that worked. I don't know if that was how I was supposed to grab the blue key, but... Yeah, it did the trick. Oh, I can't... Yeah, can't get that. I already have a full shell... Or full bullet count thingy. Right, so... Blue door. 20 health. This should be fine. Mm, gotta get the hit scanners. They can kill me <laughs> very quickly. Oh, spooky boys with a standard shotgun and, well, <laughs> less than 20 health now. That would be sad. Okay, just. Damn it. There we go. You. I swear he. <laughs> I swear he ended up leading me. I call shenanigans. <sighs> Go away. Okay. Uh... There we go. Uh, now you come over here. And then we'll shoot this guy. Shoot. Really? Come on. They're really shy about giving out health in this map, aren't they? In any reasonable quantity, anyway. Okay, you guys are next. Hey, armor. Is that even legal? Yeah, I saw you up there. Oh, boy. Perfectly fine, as long as I don't run out of bullets. Ha ha ha. It's funny, because I'm almost out of bullets. Okay. A little closer. Right, we're playing with vanilla rules, so they get blocked by shotguns that are just lying on the ground. Sigh. Mm-hmm. 
There we go. Oh, just shoot the dude. Thank you. Um, kind of want to make a mad dash for those vials, but that seems like it'd be a really bad idea. Just take it. Nice. And fuck you. <sighs> Auto aim is such a piece of shit in this game. <laughs> I might have to just look for health. I don't think there's any, though. I think, uh, that's basically the extent of it. Okay, the imps are dead. Except this one down here, who is now dead. That shotgunner is dead. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we'll just go ahead and snipe this guy. I'm just gonna take a quick look, cause, yeah... <laughs> yeah, you know, the worst part about that whole thing is that, um, I lost all my health in two projectiles because I just got bad dice rolls. Ah, uh, well, what can you do? Right, don't have that yet. Grab that now. Is there anything down below? Kind of leaning towards Nay. So I think I would have grabbed it already. Yeah, there's literally no health. <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. That's wonderful. All right, well, I guess we're just gonna have to press on. Keep calm and carry on. Oh, there's one stim pack. Yay! <laughs> Ooh, 30 health. Man, I feel so much better. Okay. There we go. Oh, yeah. Sometimes I really wish I played with auto or <laughs> played with manual aim, mouse look, all that good stuff, but I don't. I mean, aesthetically, it does kind of look like episode one. I'm sure the star tan probably doesn't help. I'd say the Lost Souls kind of take away from the vibe a little bit, but eh, it's all good. They also make things infinitely worse. Well, I killed something way back there. <laughs> Wasn't really my intention, but uh, it's okay. It worked. Ah, oh, thank you. There's anything? No, it doesn't look like it. I'm just gonna go ahead and do this. It took a while to get to this point, so, uh, yeah. Gimme. Thank you. Eh, come on. There we are. Whoo! Damn! Oh, thank you. Well, hey, there we go. Everything's fine now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely agreed on that one. It's, uh, a Baron. Really? It almost feels like, uh, Peterson level abstractness with the Romero-esque aesthetic. I don't know. Come on. There we go. Let's go ahead and just shotgun the Baron. Why not? Not gonna melee him again, because... And those are probably not gonna give me any more health. There we go. Boy. All right, well that was uh, slightly painful. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, that's that's true. Yeah, I guess Tom Hall had a lot of those maps that tried to kind of represent real places, and turns out in, uh... With 90s computers, that tends to lead to very boring map designs. It's kind of amazing just how much power we have in our computers. 
course, uh, I've also found that that doesn't really help when you're playing stuff like, uh, I don't know, Antaresian Reliquary Map 31. My goodness. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> Sour ending. Oh, better clear out everything before I continue, I guess. panicked. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, it only has 42,000 enemies. <laughs> That's all. I actually ended up texting my dad a picture of the uh, total kill count and his response was, holy shit. <laughs> and turns out that was also my computer's response to the final battle. I think this is the... Uh, it's funny, because, like, of all the games on my current rig that I ended up going to a single-digit, like, single-digit frame rate, yeah, it's Doom. <laughs> oh, Kerberos co uh, Complex was great. Um, I would say, I, I think overall I would almost wish that map 5 and 6 were in different places, because it feels like 5 would have been a better ender. But, I don't know. I can't think of a single map in, like, the original six that I would rate under a nine. Like, it's just that damn good. Okay. Are you serious right now? This is, uh... Well, this uh, sure is map design right here. <sighs> what the hell were they thinking? Okay. <sighs> yeah, sadly it wasn't 42069. I think it was like 42609 or something like that. Like it was a little bit a little bit off from that. Oh, <sighs> okay. Jeez. That was annoying. Well, here's your skeleton's discord. <laughs> Close range revs. Okay, that wasn't too bad. I hear more, though. Yay. Hello, you. What is this? Really? Oh, go back to hell, you bastard. Yo, dog, I heard you like shotgunning skeletons. I'm guessing that probably raised the bar. Ha! I don't know. Well, I mean, it is... it is Spooktober, so... It's kind of a good month for him. Maybe I should pl Oh, Baron. And how I'd rather fight... Revenants than Barons. Because, man, these uh, map authors so far have really been abusing the um, sunburned Hell Knights, that's for sure. Jeez. I think there was only one map so far that gave me the super shoddy. And it was like the last weapon I ended up getting. So uh, it was functionally useless for me. But at least it was there. At least it was there. Hey, boy! I mean, compared to that shit, the skeletons feel like a breath of fresh air. Oh, really? Punching my namesake over here. Oh, uh, there is one more secret. Oh. I see. Well, we're not getting that. <laughs> okay, well. <laughs> we'll just consider that 100. That was a little, uh... I'm not speedrunning after all. Compound by Mr. The Josh Mon. Should probably grab the chain gun first, but that's uh, okay. 
This opening reminds me of Hell Revealed for some reason. <laughs> uh, yes. Uh, I don't know, it's kind of going for apathy, but disappointment works too. I'm not mad, just disappointed. Alright, so let's, uh, go into E2M2's darker sibling, I guess? Much darker sibling. <sighs> yeah, that's cool. See, now this is like the map where you probably... Oh, jeez, I'm completely out of ammo. Okay, I have shells for the not shotgun. Alright. So, uh, Hell Knights with no decent weapons that's yellow door Is that no <laughs> okay <sighs> so is this supposed to be a tyson map because it kind of feels like a tyson map except i don't have berserk or a chainsaw so um <sighs> <laughs> Yeah, well, I don't technically have to do this, but at the same time, that's a crate maze. And it seems like a bad idea to let Hell Knights live in those conditions. How is that imp not in fighting with the dude? Oh. Well, that was a very short fight. Okay, taking maximum concentration here. Man, the Berserk makes the uh, fist good. <laughs> sure. Good thing there's a low damage roll. Oh, finally. Okay, there we go. Man, I... So didn't realize the Doom uh, 2016 Collector's Edition had that kind of fancy stuff. Oh, fuck it. <laughs> yeah, we'll, uh... I don't even know what to do. Oh, there we go. You just have to go down a very specific path. See, that's why you don't... That's why you don't keep Hell Knights alive. Even if you have to non-berserk punch them to death. Oh my goodness, grab the thing. Thank you. And I can't go back and grab the armor, of course. Okay. I knew I weakened him pretty significantly. Oh my god! Hey, you know how to make the player hate you? Pull shit like this. Thank you. At least there aren't barons. <laughs> that would have been terrible. That would have been like Id Clev 8 territory. Sorry, 08. Right, so, uh, I guess now we could actually play the game. Oy. And by that I mean look for health, because, oh boy, I do hear some imps. Not entirely sure where they are, but they're probably on the other side of all this. Probably. Uh, over here? Yes, those, those health files are excessively useful. I can now almost survive. I can now just barely not survive a max damage pistol roll. Woohoo! So, anything up here? Any other secrets? Hmm. Kind of. Why is there a shotgun up there? That seems silly, <laughs> but uh, hey, whatever. You do you, Mr. The Joshmon. Uh. Boy. Well, hey, I mean, he does have the uh, viewer request things. 
I know he's done... I, I think he actually did play through the mucus flow, though, so he's probably, uh... And again, so did I at this point. So he'd probably be impervious to a map like this. Hold up. So that door... Oh, duh, I have the yellow key out here. <laughs> this map's eroding my brain. It looks nice. I can't say I'm crazy about all the Hell Knights that we're fighting with shotguns, but... Uh, you know... Boy. Of course, I have to... I gotta say, though, um... I was very excited when I saw that Decino finally got around to starting overboard. I'm gonna have to actually go to the, uh... I'm actually gonna have to replay the New Game Plus stuff again, though. Because, yeah, changes have been made since I played through it. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, jeez. Yep, Baron. Knew it was gonna happen eventually. Hey, PR Boomer. Welcome to Shotgunning Barons, the game. It's very exciting, trust me. Can't you hear the excitement in my voice? <laughs> uh, 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 I'm fine. Okay, uh, I actually have health. That's a weird feeling. Mm-hmm. Whoa. <laughs> this map does kind of remind me of Hell Revealed, so... Half marks, I guess. Kind of getting, like, aesthetically, I'm kind of getting Plutonia vibes from it, too. <laughs> Holy shit. Excuse me. Oh, man. <laughs> Hold on, I need a second to recover after that. Holy shit. <laughs> Ugh. Whew. That was one hell of a sneeze. Thank you. <laughs> oh, man. It's one thing with me. I don't sneeze too often, but when I do... Oh, jeez, it's bad. Oh. Right, there's more, uh, there's more dudes. Okay. That's a weird secret. Oh, look, another Hell Knight for me to shotgun. This is awful. It's gotta be... Is there seriously no other weapons in this map? Okay. Later. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> Yeah, I'm not- I'm not dealing with that. Like, come on! I mean, give the player a super shoddy. That would have made that fight reasonable. Instead, it just- it's just a slog. It's not a difficult fight. There's plenty of room to move around, but... Man, it's literally just holding down the fire button for two fucking minutes. Alright, anyway. Next map. <laughs> Susp Suspend by Fuzzy Fireball. Fuzzy Fireball. Hmm. I'm trying to think about the logistics for that. Oh, jeez. That sounds like a... I don't know, man. It sounds like one of those, like, overly long, like, art... Like, artistic films. You know, like how they have those ones that just... It's literally the camera just... Kind of pointing at a wall for, like, two hours and there's something that very subtly changes over the course of those two hours. But it's so barely perceivable that you wouldn't really notice it. Unless you, like, played the film in fast motion or something. Yeah, it's, it's kind of like that. So basically, I could probably get a lot of attention in the art world if I made something like that, so, um... There's an idea. Totally gonna steal that and not give you credit for it. Alright. I like the music. Oh. 
Hello, goodbye. This MIDI is wild. That's for sure. Right, is that... Oh, uh, just barrels. Mm-hmm. There is no pickup, only barrel. Oh. <sighs> and Fat Imp. I think that's basically it. Uh, okay. Uh-oh, Discord, you said a naughty word and the uh, <laughs> YouTube bot has censored you. Give me just a moment. I should really have my laptop next to me. Make the chat a lot easier to deal with. Oh, hey, YouTube recommended recommended my own stream to me. That's convenient. Boop. There we go. You have been uncensored by the specter. Uh, okay, Andrew, uh, this one's by Fuzzy Fireball. I don't know who made the MIDI. Oh, hello. That's, wow. Yeah, you guys can just maybe in fight. Yeah, you could you could do something. There we go. Yeah, it's funny. I, every uh, it doesn't seem like <laughs> you big dummy. No, nah, it doesn't seem like uh, lowering the uh, comment threshold really does much. So I might just end up having to turn it off and just, uh, I don't know, add another mod or two. Okay, there we go. <laughs> we do have a lot of asides on the stream, don't we? It's actually another one of the reasons that uh, I kind of like playing easier stuff on this, is uh, it generally makes it easier to just kind of BS. Okay, that pain elemental is very inconvenient, but now he's very dead, so everything's fine. There we are. Give me that. Hmm, I wonder when we're going to come across our first vial. I probably shouldn't say stuff like that. <laughs> yes, yes, go on a rampage. There we go. Starting to get a little more in the rhythm, I guess. This map is a lot better than the ones that came before it, that's for sure. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Ow. Terms of him rampagement! And gone. I mean, I'm... Hmm. Maybe it's because uh, it just, I don't know, of what I normally play, but I just keep looking back expecting there to be, like, some sort of monster closet open behind me. And it's just, it's not. And that's infinitely disappointing. Yeah, this does kind of feel like a Romero map. I would say Romero, especially modern Romero, probably would have thrown more, um, <laughs> more monster traps in. Like, ones that open up behind the player, but... I mean, I'll take it. This is kind of just a fun little E1 style romp, really, when it comes to... Okay, that's a lot of enemies. <laughs> oh, there we go. That was... That, that almost did it. That was close. Yeah, and... Yeah, I am missing the super shotgun. Like I said, I, I only saw one... I mean, there, there's always the possibility... Of, there was one in the secret that I missed, but I've only seen one SSG in this entire pack so far. And I ended up getting it at the end of a level, so it was kind of useless. Really glad I picked up that backpack, though. Okay, and just kind of... There we go. I, oh, 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 yep. There we go. See, we asked for it, and the game provided. That's how it works. Hey. 
Unfortunately, it also provided that. <laughs> you big dummy. Yeah, I don't I don't know why they would just consistently leave the super shoddy and secrets and stuff like that. It's just I don't know. It's such a fun weapon to use, too. It's not like it's all powerful or anything, you know, it's like the long load time, long reload time can really screw you over if you're uh, not being careful about it. Definitely heard another archvile wake up. I think I know where he's coming from. And first archvile, second archvile, all on the same level. I'm surprised that killed him. I must have gotten some pretty lucky rolls. See, that's the thing, like with that Baron over there. Yeah, I don't mind dealing with him with this. Look at that. Bro doesn't have a chance. Heck yeah. Got all the items. Hmm. That's the other arch file. Who naturally managed to resurrect literally everything. That was na that was kind of nasty. Got to got to admit. I was trying to say not gonna lie, and uh, I just could not get the words out. But I did now, so still counts. <sighs> there we go. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> you definitely see why people seem to. Just basically say that the first seven levels are just kind of eh. Yes, take care of the imps. Thank you. This is kind of nasty. I would really prefer to have a rocket launch for t launcher for dealing with archer, raptor, trudger, spider dudes at a range like that. But that works. Holy crap! It's like you open the uh, door and you just see this. I gotta say, the MIDI really fits, though. Oh man, if you want Skelly Boys, uh, take a look at my playthrough of uh, Antares and Reliquary Map 6. It's gonna come out tomorrow. Oh, it's got some skeletons. <laughs> that map even has a uh, switch at one point that says, Do you like Revenants? Yes or no? Fuck, I didn't mean to do that. Oh well. I was having fun on that map too. So that's another uh, another lesson. Do not put the exit teleporter in the middle of the arena. Also, you forgot the smiley. <laughs> I love that. I, I really got a kick out of that. And I also like what happens when you press yes or no in that first one. I'll leave the uh, second Do You Like Revenants, which, uh, kind of as a surprise, because that one's even better. Hell's Furnace by Evil Ned. Starting, actually starting off with the shotgun. Heck yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, probably. Apparently they prefer uh, Revenants in South Korea. I don't blame them. Okay, mm where are you? Right there. Okay. There we go. Whoops. Ah! Glad I thought to press that wall. <laughs> hmm. That's a little... A little bit suspicious. Actually, yeah, I think I kind of... Again! You give the Berserk, and you unleash hit scanners. That's just... That's not how you do it. <laughs> hey, early super shoddy. Heck yeah. Do you like 50 cybers? Oh no. Okay, actually, here's another thing. I've seen a lot of people, like... I don't know why it was always conventional wisdom to just do... To always... Unpeg the lower texture on door tracks, but 
I've always kind of liked the look of the door rising with the track like that. Like, instead of the door being the mechanical element, the track being the mechanical element. I don't know. Just something I thought was kind of weird that most people don't seem to do. Skelly boy. Piss off, imp. Wow. This is a nasty arena for him, that's for sure. That, uh, I don't know about this. Okay, let's grab it. Yeah, see? Yeah, let's uh, just kind of do a mad dash real quick. Ooh, I don't like this. Yeah, I'm gonna pick these guys off. Oh, that was probably the one thing about the mucus flow that I absolutely could not really, uh... That I don't think I'll ever enjoy. The stupid chain gunner turrets. Oh boy. That was, uh... Awful. <laughs> absolutely awful. Okay. So, we've got... Okay, another one of these things. This is a solid map so far. It is, uh... Looks nice. It's pretty clever. Hmm. And not like the bad kind of clever, either. Screw it. Fisticuffs. Since I do have these areas with slightly higher lighting, it makes it a little bit easier. Is that it? Okay. Ooh, yeah, and I couldn't find very many of them. Shit. Oh, this isn't good. Okay, shoot you. Any more? No? Oh, Kako. And... And he's gone. Yeah, I think what I'm gonna do... Because, uh... Oh yeah, Jacob. I don't think you were here for when I initially discussed Mucus Flow. But, uh, yeah. I got super, super salty. Aside from, like, the normal reasons. I ended up making the decision to try to just make sure that I didn't... Well, make sure I went in as blind as possible. Which ended up blowing up in my face when uh, I found out that it has bugs that make it uncompletable in PR Boom-based ports. So yeah, that that made me very, very salty. <laughs> so I think what I'm gonna do is probably replay it with Z-Doom, kinda tack it on to next Wednesday's video. If I can finish it in time. I probably will. But I'll probably make it a practice run where I actually go in with all the secrets, play it with Z-Doom so I have the best chance of not running into crippling bugs that require random compatibility things. So I also couldn't help but notice you can't even get anywhere near all the secrets in, uh, in certain ports. Oh, this is just demonic. Okay. Yeah, I'm really surprised DSDA hasn't fixed that, honestly, because it doesn't seem like they generally like forcing compatibility settings. Ugh. Yeah, I'm just gonna let them come to me, because I don't know what else is out there. Yeah, BR BPRD is, uh... Definitely a very unique mapper, though. Oh, what the heck was that? Did... Oh, okay. Coming from behind me, of course. Well, I was complaining that the one map didn't put anything behind me, so, um... Yeah. <laughs> Understatement of the century, yep. I do kind of feel bad for him in, a, in one way, for sure. Just the fact that basically his shitpost wad ended up becoming, like, his most popular thing. That's gotta be, like... 
I don't know. It, it kind of seems to me, just based on the way that some of his maps are designed, because, like, I've seen parts of Equinox. Obviously, I played the Mucus Flow. And it kind of seems like he, he's probably the type to sort of think of himself as much of an artist as just, like, a map designer. And I can only imagine how that must feel. So I gotta make sure if I ever start seriously mapping... Ow, my face. I just need to make sure I don't release any shitpost maps, or if I do, release them under a different name. That way they don't become my legacy. Ooh, this is a very moody room. This actually kind of reminds me of a reverse metal. Except without the uh, staircase being excessively long. And there being an excessive amount of hit scanners. Okay. Handled. Uh, oh my goodness. There you go. Damn, Spectre taking all the shots. Ooh, hello there. Nuts. Nuts of steel. Oh, man. Ooh. Hmm, should I make the 50 Cybers wad? Hmm. <laughs> Questions. Okay. So there's that. Can I get on here and get anything fancy? I like the aesthetic of this. Oh, Hell's Furnace. Yeah. I, I, could, I could definitely see that. Ow. Ooh, that's sneaky. Okay, uh... Hmm. It was, uh, very forward-thinking to block off all possible escapes, I gotta say. Hey, like I said, you want a Skelly Boy Arena? <laughs> Antaresian Reliquary, map six. I mean, I guess there's a lot of uh, revenants in uh, map 31 as well, but um, that's liable to melt your computer. Yeah. Good stuff. Okay. I did have some really weird issues with that one. Like, uh, funny enough, when I first started playing that map, the software renderer actually performed better, for whatever reason. But then obviously as I went on a little bit further, I had to switch to OpenGL because it was just unplayable. <laughs> Wait, that's... that looks like a secret. <laughs> yeah, that's that's pretty accurate. And don't even try playing it in, uh, in ZDoom or GZDoom. Oh, but that looks... but that was lighter. Why? Ooh. Alright. Yeah, it's... it's... It's rough at times with, uh, DSDA. It's unplayable with... with GZ Doom. Not map 6, just 31. Um, 6 is probably fine, because that has, uh, under 2,000 enemies. Definitely can't do anything about those guys. Hmm. You know, I have rockets. But at the same time, I saw there were... I saw there were Hell Knights in there. I kind of want to... There we go. That's more like it. There we go. <sighs> That's one thing I will say. GZ Doom's renderer is fantastic, but... Oh boy, its game logic is, uh... Well, I mean, with how moddable it is, it's understandable. Like, let's be real here. 
Oh, you bastard. Mm-hmm. Okay, and you guys give me rockets, and I shoot rockets. Brilliant. So this map has been uh, very solid so far. Considering how ho-hum most of these have been, this is a bit of a breath of fresh air. This one and the last one. There we go. Although I do think the last one could have given us the super shotgun a little bit sooner. Yeah, I mean, really, most of the issues with uh, with uh, GZ Doom just... I mean, it's just because of how moddable it is, really. So when you're dealing with, like, tens of thousands of enemies, it's just... There's really no way it can cope with that. Other than that, fantastic source port. Absolutely. I don't understand... Like, there's... People get really bent out of shape when people say they use uh, GZ Doom, and uh, it's just kind of silly. <laughs> I don't know. Is that it? Hmm. Okay. That's actually the cornerstone of a good map right there. When you're in it for 13 minutes, and you're like, huh, that seemed, uh, <laughs> that seemed like it went by awfully quickly. <laughs> All right, lovely. Yeah, that was easily the best one so far. Um, map nine, I would say, comes in a very close second. So, like, if I were using my grade scale, I'd I'd probably give ten, map ten, a um, I'd say probably eight out of ten. Somewhere between, let's go eight and a half, eight and a half out of ten, and I'd probably give map nine probably an eight. I enjoyed both of them. I, I would say the. Uh, one thing that would probably bump map 9 up another half a point is giving an earlier super shoddy. Yeah, the nerf ports are actually pretty solid. I don't... Well, again, you know, elitism, but... Yeah, it's, uh... Some people get really bent out of shape. Like, especially if you m make the mistake of even mentioning the unity port. Oh boy. I don't know, I played with it. It's fine. I don't prefer it. Oh yeah, I didn't look at the map name. Phobus Anomaly. <laughs> By Phobus. I like it. Oh, damn it. I could have gotten the blue key. Oh well. It's like we're going outside. Going out for a stroll with our pinky friends. I cannot shoot that guy. There's too many things in front of him. Okay, here we go. Brilliant. And, uh... There we go. Hmm. Yeah, I would say pro he kind of nailed it. It's, um... Kinda. I think you can only really do that <laughs> imitating a newcomer look so much. Oh, shit. I don't have the health for this. Yeah, I did not have the help for that. Alright. Ugh. That's true, cause I Okay, what? <sighs> Always a max damage roll. <sighs> Always a Baron. <laughs> At least it gave you the super shoddy. Oy vey. Do wish I had the chain gun. See, I'm always complaining. Oh, there's chain guns. Found them.
Mm, no. Bullets. Give me more DACA. There you go. And there's the skeleton. And there goes the skeleton. Hmm. Let's go ahead and just carefully snipe these guys because we're a little low on the ammos. Good. That looks scary. I'm going to avoid that for now. Mm hmm. Well, I would say this map is very anomalous. <sighs> really? Fuck it. Just fuck you. Stuck in the damn doorway. <laughs> okay. Mm hmm. Yeah, he didn't get bullied like last time, unfortunately. Wait a minute, I can actually see the pain elementals from here. Hmm. I feel silly for not noticing that. Oh well. It's pretty, pretty common on this channel. So do you set like the, uh, your phone's text tone to uh, the revenant screech? Oh man, that'd be great in a public place. You'd be able to tell, basically, you'd be able to easily spot the doomers by just seeing who ends up just diving to the floor. And that, um, it's a catatonic arachnatron over there. It's fine. And done. And, ooh, that armor's gonna be helpful. It's so funny sometimes, just like, how much of a difference just taking a slightly different route through a level can make. Like, I'm definitely getting more goodies this time around than I was last time. Not to mention getting to jump on a few, uh, fellas. Oh. Hello up there. Ha ha. Ha ha. Okay, that's one of the- oh, nifty. Oh jeez. <laughs> now that would be- Actually, you know, I was gonna say that'd be interesting, but then I realized that, um, it was one time where I was just sitting in a Taco Bell, and I, um... There was someone in the- just in the restaurant area, with the, uh, Godzilla shriek as, uh, their text tone. And they had their phone at full blast, and they kept getting text messages. It was great. Totally, totally did not get at all irritating. <laughs> hey, the codex sounds good. See, I need to actually correct that, because I'm just using, like, basic iPhone sounds right now. <laughs> Oof. Imagine if this is Doom 64, how much that would hurt. Jeez, another one of you? Oh, you're gonna have to get taken care of, sir. You've been expelled. I don't know. Ah, yes, thank you. Imagine being like at a Doom-related convention, and of course, then again, there's probably there pr you probably wouldn't be the only person with uh, that kind of ringtone. Okay, I've got all these rockets. Where the hell is the rocket launcher? <laughs> it's got to be one, right? Hmm. Ah. Uh. Oh. Really? Thou giveth and thou taketh away. And by taketh away, I mean taketh away all my ammo with. Uh, excuse you. So... Alright. Hmm. If I were a rocket launcher, where would I be hiding? 
Maybe in there? Maybe? That seems very suspicious. I'm gonna avoid that for now. Oh, jeez. You can just see you carrying, like, a blue- like, this beefy Bluetooth speaker around just to make your ringtone louder. There's the rocket launcher. Found it. I'll piss off. <sighs> Alright. Go back. And... Go in here. And then go up here. Then just run like hell. Grab this thing. Really? Well... What the f... Mm, it's probably your fault. Oh, come on. There we go. Fixed it. Okay. And, uh, handled? I hear another rev. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe don't do that. <laughs> Would be funny though. Oh jeez. I mean, you could do here, catch! Kind of get the point across, and then if uh, you did happen to meet some fellow rot players, they'd still know what it was from. Alright, I really want that soul sphere. But how do I get the soul sphere? Let us... Let us study. Whatever the heck this is. Ugh. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I think I see... Okay. Wait a minute. Hold up. Hold the phone. That would also be a good way of giving the play... Like, giving anybody anxiety. Like, I don't even think you'd need to be a rot player to... <laughs> to get anxious from the near-death sound. Just has a certain vibe about it. Alright, hold up. Uh, saw what looked like a way down. There's a lost soul over there. Hmm. Oh, well, there's that. Yay! I did it. Alright. If I were a secret area... Going down into a supercharged thing. Where would I be? Hmm. Let us think. It's probably hidden on the map, if I had to guess. But I really want that supercharge. That supercharge would be lovely. That would make me very happy. Somewhere on this wall, maybe? Whoa! That was bouncy. Oh, same here. I, I was looking at uh, the uh, Night Dive lineup, and I was really, really loving what I saw. Got the, uh, we got Rot, we got System Shock 2. Yeah, it's gonna be a good couple years, that's for sure. Yeah, see, unfortunately, Discord, I don't have Decino's patience. So, uh... Um... So, yeah. I guess we're gonna go without. Oh, well. Things haven't been super hairy so far, so what's the worst that can happen? Yeah. My weakness. Really? How the hell did he do that? There's <sighs> one slippery lost soul, that's for sure. Alright, fine. 
Oh, don't get me wrong. I wish I had his patience. I just don't. Yeah, that's it. Actually, the other thing, too, is they're, um... Oh, when it comes to, uh, Night Dive, they're just experts on getting the rights to things. Like, System Shock was in Limbo for, oh my god, how many years? And all of a sudden they came along and were like, alright, step aside. We got this. It's kind of incredible, really. Definitely got some good biz guys, that's for certain. That seems a bit on the nose. Oh... <laughs> okay, that was cowardly. We're, we're going back and doing it. Oh, no one lives forever. I would love, I would absolutely love to have like a remastered version of that. That game was so damn good. I'm just glad I have my original uh, CDs, at least for the first game. I don't think I ever managed to get the second one. Unfortunately. Damn it. Of course, it had to be a three rocket pain elemental. Okay, clean out the lost souls. Actually, they're all pretty... Ow. Okay, um... Of course. <sighs> hey! Right. Oh, that's unfortunate. I don't think I've even played, like, a demo of the second one, so I probably wouldn't miss it, <laughs> for being honest. Although, I don't know, was, uh... Was Nolf 2 as bad as Blood 2? So, I mean, I think that's one of those cases where, you know, it can always be worse. Ah, thank you for spawning first, good sir. Now die. <laughs> yeah. See, silver lining. I'm totally optimistic. It's actually kind of funny with blood because uh, I'd never actually played the first one and I remember getting a uh, PC gamer demo of the uh, second one. And I'd heard a lot of good things about it because, I, I mean, it's blood. Everyone loved blood. <laughs> But then, uh, 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 I ended up playing it. I'm like, really? This is the game that got all the hype? Only to find out that the first game was significantly better. So, yeah, there's that. Oh, man. Yeah, that's unfortunate. I mean, at least Fear was a good game, so... Uh, I got something good out of it, I suppose. <laughs> Incubator. Oh, man. You have breached a barrier somewhere in your travel through strange and foreboding facilities that were once filled with life, but now stenched with death and evil. Your intuition is clearer than ever, and you know exactly where to go and how to destroy the forces that harm the Earth. It is as if the Source itself is beckoning for a duel with you. So give them hell. Ooh. Yeah, fear was, uh, fear was interesting for me because, uh, that was one of those cases that I managed to get into where my laptop had, well, was able to get the full effect of it, but my main PC wasn't. So my main PC at the time had a, a GeForce 3, which was a DirectX 8 card. And my laptop had a uh, Radeon X300, so it had a DirectX 9 card. So my laptop wound up becoming my first fear machine. <laughs> handled it pretty well, though. I mean, it was couldn't crank the settings up, obviously, but you know, handled pretty nicely. Oh, nice and early with the Barons. Got it. Um, I occasionally use install disks. My uh, main PC doesn't have a CD drive, but I do have an external one that I sometimes use. Um, 
Although sometimes, like if I have the game on GOG or something, I'll just download it. It's just easier sometimes. Blood? I actually have yet to play it. One of these days. Oh, I see. I also need to play Shadow Warrior. Haha. <laughs> mmm, satisfying. Which means that I did over 200 damage in one shot. Yay. Yeah, they seem... <sighs> wow. There's barely enough room to react to those. Yeah, they are actually being uh, somewhat generous with the super shotties. It's one of the things that I find so great about blood is just the... Uh... Oh, I don't know. It, it just seems to take itself seriously enough. And Caleb's voice is, like, the dude who does Caleb's voice is incredible. Like, I mean, especially for that era, you just did not see voice actors voice acting like that. It's crazy. I don't know, one of these days. Actually, yeah, I'd say if the, the, the best voice actors of uh, that era generally went for iconic more than, like, legitimately good. Because, I mean, well, okay, that's not entirely fair. But, like, uh, when you look at, like, John St. John doing uh, Duke Nukem's voice, for instance, that's kind of more or less, like, top tier. Like, what you'd come to expect from a good game. But, yeah, Caleb was just something else. Like, he just had... I don't know. It was like the full package, I guess. And I wish I knew the actor's name. But, oh well. Ugh. Hmm. Okay, I am out of shells, but I'm alive. Sorta. <laughs> Mostly. Dead inside. Oh, there we go. I saw that subtly different texture. Oh boy. Too deep of a voice. Yeah, it's funny with that because I always um, kind of stressed about my voice being higher than I would like, but eh, I don't know. Kind of grown to uh, like the whole tenor tone. And people seem to like my voice, so I don't know. It's one of those things that's really hard to judge when you just hear it for yourself, I guess. Okay, that was uh, that was a bit of an ambush. Hmm. Nice little indoor garden there. Lovely. Oh, okay. My sm smooth, sultry voice. Okay, let's not go that far. Eh. Okay, let's uh, just go ahead and grab this. Oh, that was almost a face rocket. Ugh! Give me the health. Give me the health. Okay. Alright, we're fine. Everything's fine. We're all good. Everything's good. <laughs> I guess the whole soothing thing is... There's probably a big asterisk. It's probably a lot less soothing when I'm playing Swim with the Whales. <laughs> I got a little heated a few times during that recording. But, uh, I guess that's kind of to be expected. And that looks like a few traps they forgot to, uh, flag a secret. Kind of seems like they sort of threw most of their kills in that one room. Oh, man. I do have the Berserk. Why am I not using it? Hmm. 
Okay. <laughs> okay, the the text file thing I just blatantly ripped off a of dank pod, so uh Yeah. So credit were cr okay. Credit where credit is due on that one. The rocket launcher, why am I not using it? There we go. Eh. Damn it! <laughs> there we go. Uh, oh, BMD voice. Well, thank you very much. Appreciate it. <laughs> okay. I saw a Baron. Do I even want to mess with... No, whatever. <laughs> Hell yeah, I do. He's the dude that got me into classic iPods. Which I gotta say, if you want a distraction-free MP3 player that's, uh, decent quality. Yeah. Classic iPod. Uh, yeah, I think I kinda wanna do that. That's... oh boy. Are there any rockets? <laughs> oh. Oh. Ow. 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 Ow, my face. Yeah, right now I've got a... Uh, I've got... actually ended up getting... kind of one good one, and then just like sort of just a lot of ones in various conditions. So I've got one, um... 7th gen, that's kind of my daily driver. Flash modded, it's got, I think like... 500 gigs of storage. Then I've got a, uh, 6th gen that's kind of like my secondary one. Then I've got a 5th gen just for fun. And in various parts of 5th and 6th gen ones, just... just in case I need them. Yeah, Dank Pods is, uh... he's interesting. He reviews a lot of, uh... very interesting nuggets from kind of that generation. <laughs> He doesn't really do much, like, iPod content anymore, unless it's, like... I think the most recent one he did was, like, looking at, like, uh, pre-release units. But, eh, he's entertaining. High energy. So, bear that in mind. He also has, like, kind of a side channel called, uh, Garbage Time, where he'll mess around with, like, uh... Oh, like, some old, um, uh, Australian cars and such. Automotive nuggets, if you will. And then he does uh, drum streams as well, because he's actually a professional drummer, or was pre pandemic. Yeah, entertaining dude. Eh. Man, does your parrot laugh like, uh, Wade? Because that would be hilarious. Also, kudos for having a parrot. Those are the freaking coolest birds. Well, I'm pretty partial to crows, but I don't know if you can really keep crows as pets, per se. Or corvids in general, I should say. They're, uh, they're all pretty awesome. Smart little buggers, too. Alright. Hmm, this is looking ominous. Oh. <laughs> I always love that when the, uh... You get, like, the, um... Darkening corridor, and then there's just an imp at the end of it. That's... that's kind of cute. Alright. Oh, Raven Software. Yes, indeed. Hmm. Yeah, that's the other thing that's kind of neat about parrots. Is they're basically lifelong companions. Oh. T turns out that was the skeleton button. Got it. Oh! Oh, baby! 
That's a lot of cacos. Mm-hmm. Yeah, verbs are awesome. <laughs> that is true, yeah. Yeah, they have... That's true, they usually do have, like, um... Well, like, 80, 90 year lifespans or something like that. So I guess technically, yeah, lifelong for you. <laughs> oh boy, is this one of those things where if I hit the wrong button, I just get overwhelmed by skellies? 80 plus, damn. Kind of nuts. <laughs> it's like my thing is I, I also like rats, but I just, I don't know. I don't know if I'd be able to handle just a pet that only lives like two years or somewhere along those, something along those lines. And it was already kind of hard enough just losing a cat and losing a dog. You know, uh. Oh, the heartbreak. And now this one... Oh. Well, thank you. So I heard a door open, so I'm a little bit, um, skittish now. Wait. This is different. Nope. Okay. There we are. Jeez. Exit. We don't want to go there yet. This loops around, though. Come yeah, on. It's another thing I tend to miss about Answer Region Reliquary is the uh, fast weapon switch. Oh, you're way over there. I see. Well, that was mean. That was an 80 damage hit. You skeleton bastard. Or no, that was that was 70. Never mind. Close enough though. All right. Jeez. Well, I'm glad the maps are starting to finally get some teeth. This is kind of fun. Um Yeah, um Antares is uh South Korean. I mean, <laughs> I guess I can just say Korean and you'd know what I meant. <laughs> I don't think there's going to be any North Koreans making uh, Doom wads, unfortunately. Okay, there's one more secret. Let's see if I can locate that. It's probably that, right there. Hmm, so, um... Now how do I get up there? I think I, yeah, just jump. Yay. That would have been nice to have earlier. <laughs> oh well. Go ahead and put this back on follow. Fantastic. And, um. So there's still like a bunch of stuff over there, and I'm kind of. Hmm. Slightly concerned, I guess. Is it gonna be just like an army of lost souls? Oh no, just mood, I guess. Hmm. Hey, what the hell? Just grab the items. Oh, there we go. 100%ed. Fantastic. Yeah, although, from what I understand, the uh, thing that's kind of interesting about Korea's PC market is they don't so much have them in the homes, it's, it's more of just like. Uh, Oh, you know, you go to an internet cafe, basically. Gaming cafe. So. Yeah, I don't know. It's one of those cultural things are kind of funny, because I can't imagine not having a PC just conveniently under my desk that's capable of playing games. Eh, I don't know. Like, I think I can live with, like, game streaming as long as it's on, like, kind of a more neutral platform, like, um, GeForce Now. Because, like, that's usually how I play games on my laptop. It's... You know, works well enough. 
But yeah, I just I like having the power at my fingertips, I guess. It's kind of like even public transit. Like it's just kind of with the you know the way I was raised and overall culture. I can't really imagine not having a car. I don't know. <laughs> it's funny how that works. But, okay, so <laughs> warehouse district by Sergeant Dopey. Well, anyway, we're at about the halfway point. Um, I'm gonna go ahead, get up, stretch for a few minutes. Um, I'll be back in five to ten minutes. Talk to you guys soon.
Okay, I'm back. All right, and I know the uh, two things are completely unrelated, but I looked in chat, saw Doom Engine remake of Operation Body Count, and my head immediately went to Civvy crying the X-Men theme. I don't know why I associated those two together, but... Just the way my mind works sometimes, I guess. All right, let's go. We're starting off the nice little crate maze. <laughs> crate maze. More like series of crates. And we're back to just having the pistol. Okay. I miss starting off with the super shoddy. Thank you, Muchly. Okay, let's uh, see how long it takes for us to get a weapon. Come on. Whoa, harsh. You know... Huh. Good shot, Imp. Let's go ahead and just take care of this guy the old-fashioned way, and, uh... Jeez, that, that Imp has, uh, really has it out for that pinky. It was like, what, four shots? Saying they weren't higher damage rolls, but, eh, you know, what can you do? Come on. Balls. There we go. This is, uh, tedious, but I don't want to waste bullets on this guy when I don't have to. There we go. Oi. All right. Hmm. What? Hmm. Immersion, I guess? Okay. I don't know, giving the player a regular shotgun, to me, doesn't seem very ambush-worthy. I don't know. Just, just throwing that out there. And it definitely doesn't seem caco worthy either, but... Uh, you know, it could be worse. It could be E3 M1. That map was horrible. And not necessarily for any good reasons. Or for any interesting reasons, I guess. Well, okay, it's not too bad if you're just any percenting it. But if you're, uh, making the mistake of UV maxing it, then yeah, that map is horrible. Maybe not as bad as E4 M1, but... Yeah, still not great. Man, I wish I wish the original Doom weren't so uneven, but oh well. What you gonna do? Sandy had a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff on his plate. Okay, more of these guys. All right. Mm-hmm. There we go. Jeez. Yeah, playing uh, E3M9 is... Uh, I mean, that one's fine, especially if you're playing continuous. Because it almost feels like revenge in a way. And yeah, now that you mention it, that is the first time you can two-shot a cyber. <laughs> or in the case of just, uh, pre-Ultimate Doom, the only time. Well, unless you're a filthy cheater, but, you know. That's a different story. I've maxed E4M1 with saves once, and that was more than enough for me. It was painful. I can't even... Yeah, nine whole health bonuses. Nine energy drinks, that's it. Yeah, I can't imagine just speedrunning that map and having to grind it. Ugh. Yeah, no thank you. <laughs> and from what I understand with the, uh, 
from what I remember, I should say. So I managed to do it once, but... I do believe with the uh, Nine Inch Nail secret, you pretty much just have to run out. <laughs> yeah, why am I not surprised at all by that statement? Hmm. Yeah, that is true. I don't know, that's one of those maps that I kind of have a begrudging respect for, but it's just... It's a lot. I guess that'd be the best way to put it. Right, so I guess I need to go back. Oh, yeah, it is a pain. Because, yeah, I wasn't able to get good enough splash damage on my rockets, so I did have to berserkless punch those barons. I think two of them. It was, uh, not very enjoyable. Wait, where the hell's the blue key? I didn't get any keys. Did I just miss one? Hmm. Yep, still can't do anything about that. Yeah, I guess I missed something over there. Right. Oh, yeah. Yeah, man, I can imagine, that's for sure. Get you really good at dodging stuff. I imagine the biggest frustration with reality runs is probably the, uh, hit scanners, but... I don't know, with a little bit of luck and a little bit of, uh, prioritization... Eh, probably not too terrible in most maps. Okay, so that does just lead down there, okay. Oh, no. Well, that just sounds horrifying. So, is there a key up here that I missed? Mm, didn't think so. Okay. Not seeing a key. Nothing in there. <laughs> All right. Um. Oh, damn it! <laughs> Didn't really want that. That's okay. No big deal. So hold up a second. Uh. I didn't see a key in there. I can't open that door. So, um... Yeah. Now what? <laughs> nope, that didn't do it. Okay. What the heck? Hmm... Hmm... I think I got everything I could get from in here, right? Yeah. There was this switch. Which I did press. This switch just opened this door. Um... There was this switch... Hold up, is this just one of... Th oh, of course. Um... Why the hell would you put the blue key markings on that when it's not a blue key switch? I guess I should have known that because this is, uh... This is limit removing vanilla. But I play so many boom wads, it's really easy to forget about that. That that thing doesn't exist. <sighs> grumble, grumble, grumble. Sad face. And now I'm fighting cacos with bullets. And a limited number of shells. Awesome. So I'm assuming that probably opened that other door up back here. Sure did. Ooh, that part was not very good, gotta say. It's a very unclear pro 
progression right there, but mm, eventually got it. Eventually. So, oh, I already, I already hit that. I could have just rode this up. Holy vey. Okay. Well, we kind of did it. <laughs> Only slightly demoralized. That's could be worse. Ooh, hello. Yep, of course. Has a gaggle of lost souls. Good. Oh. Huh. Ooh, thank you. Uh, yeah. There we go. So, now what did that do? This is a very kind of kind of backtracky map, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. It's such a weird weapon, like a weird thing too, because like I don't know. Normally, when it comes to fighting lost souls, I think, okay, yeah, chain gun, not super shotgun. <laughs> I mean, it does the job. Don't get me wrong, but... Yeah. Okay. So what is... Huh. Almost looked like that was trying to be something, but... Then it kind of just stopped. <laughs> That's weird. Alright. Well, I got the yellow card, so now we can go to the rest of the level. Just turns out there's quite a few more kills left, so there's probably quite a bit more map left. Ow. Mm-hmm. Agua. Damn it. Good. Uh... Huh. <laughs> Alright. I guess he was inside the wall, maybe. Perhaps. Possibly. Hmm. Okay, this map, uh... Wow. You know, if you do make your Skelly Boy map, I hope it flows better than this one. This one, um... Really is kind of... a chore to play in a lot of ways, because it has all these doors that just kind of... don't open. Switches that, you know, their purpose isn't immediately clear. I don't know. This isn't the best one. Isn't the worst. Mm hmm. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty hard to get lost in nuts, so I mean, that might be a pretty good idea, actually. I heard a Baron. Well, at least he gave me the rocket launcher. And these conveniently placed barrels. Mmm. And... Ah. Uh. Haha. <laughs> gotcha. Right, so now what did that do? Open the gate? No. Probably open one of those random doors that I couldn't get into. Uh, something along those lines? That would be a yes. There we go. Mm hmm. So. <laughs> Kind of feels like one of those maps that's kind of overstaying its welcome. Which is funny, because it's like, I haven't really been in here all that long, but... Boy, does it drag after a while. This little outdoor area is kind of cool. 
this little doom cute streets. All those center lines are really thick. There we go. Random shotgun just kind of tucked away. All right. Hmm. That was good. What? All right. Give me that. Skellies, 50, 50k skellies. I don't know. Do you think that's really enough? It seems a little light. I mean, there is a map that has 100,000 revenants, so... Eh... Hmm, so what did that activate? Oh, it summoned a uh, Hell Knight, okay. That's lovely. That doesn't open. See what I mean about this map's progression? It's just kinda... Uh, it feels really scatterbrained. Okay. That was weird. Half a million? Yeah, that's more like it, I'd say. I uh, hmm. Warning shot? Yeah, we'll go with warning shot. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so now that's happening. Gave me a bunch of cells. I didn't see a plasma rifle, though. Unless there was something I missed. Oh, okay, so that door can't open because it's... Yeah. That would be room over room, which Doom doesn't support. Boy. <laughs> yeah, Andrew, I, I, I tend to agree. I don't know, I just, just, I don't know. <laughs> it's fine to go through once or twice, I guess, but after a while it just gets really, really old. Wait a second, so, what did that, what did that open? Okay, you're a little late. Ow. So hold up, let me go back up to the roof. Hi. Yeah, I'm almost tempted to just make like a Doom 2 megawad that just has my favorite Doom 1 and Doom 2 maps and then just play through those once in a while. So I think that I probably could narrow that down kind of nicely to uh, 32 levels. Probably not many more than that, though. Hmm. It actually looks like I can... Yeah, you can actually glide through that. It's like... Just spaced out far enough. Yeah, you can see I'm actually kind of locked onto it. If I were better at the movement... Then I'd be able to do that. I don't know why I tend to look for glide spots like that. It's just... Eh. Ah, uh, okay. So now there's another switch here. Which we hit. And it opens this up. I mean, this is just silly, honestly. I can understand wanting to do a little bit of like back and forth type of stuff. All right, we're gonna we're gonna cheese this guy. Screw it. But yeah, I can kind of understand like wanting like. I can sort of understand what the author was trying to do with this, but... It feels a little silly with there being this much back and forth. Like, this is just excessive. Come on. Work with me, buddy. There we are. Pfft. 
That was so unnecessary, but you know what? I actually probably could have lowered one of those bars. I didn't really know what the progression would be like. Okay, so now what? Did it open up something out here? Again? That I need to... Oh my god. Now what? Okay, so it raised this bridge. This is st just stupid. Ugh. I think this goes beyond just being a little touch and go. Well, thanks for the plasma rifle. Although more rockets probably would have been better, if we're being honest. There we go. Whew. Yeah, they really kind of do. Like, especially stuff like this, like excessive back and forth. But, uh, yeah. I guess it kind of makes sense, because, you know, you have people that are kind of beginner mappers. Maybe take inspiration from, like, the bad parts of the iWads. That definitely feels... Oh, there we are. Definitely seems to be the case here. Oh my goodness. Yep, Plasma Rampage. Yay. I mean, this is... This is pretty cute, right here. Little reception area. Baron. Hmm. Well, you know what they say. You never know till you try. Oh god. I don't understand why this is like this. I mean, I had one map that I'd kind of worked on a bit. What? Anyway, I had one map that I kind of worked on for a bit, and I just sort of, uh, just from playing one part a few times, I just, I knew that what I was doing was bad. Maybe it's just one of those things where the author, like, the author of this just didn't play his map enough and didn't have enough time to let the tedium set in. Because, like, in my case, it was like a, uh, kind of like a dimly lit maze with specters in it. And it was just a slog. So I drastically cut it back. And I did have a couple people playtest it and said that it felt much better with the revised version. And I don't know, it was just one of those things that just stood out to me immediately. <sighs> Alright. Okay. Alright, yeah, if you want to start making maps, uh, Ultimate Doom Builder is probably the, uh, the best level editor at this point. If you're not running Windows, uh, Slade 3. Its map editor is pretty good. I, I don't find it to be as good as, uh, uh, Doom Builder, but it gets the job done. Apparently there are ways, like, apparently you can run Doom Builder on, um, Mac OS and Linux with Wine. Or not with Wine, but with, um, Mono. I've never tried it, though. I remember the older versions definitely weren't compatible with that, but apparently that was something they worked on a little more recently. Okay. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Jeez. Okay, so this is, uh, throwing a lot at me right now. <sighs> okay. So I think to, cert to some extent, it's not necessarily a bad thing to make something that'll only work once. It really depends on what kind of map you're going for. Because if you try to go through that attitude of, oh, how, how will this uh, work with, you know, replayability, then you tend to end up with maps that are just sort of, I don't know, very formulaic, I guess. Like, I mean, we talked about the mucus flow earlier. I don't think the mucus flow would have really existed if, um, 
BPRD were super concerned about stuff like that. Sometimes you have to kind of just let the shackles, like take the shackles off, I guess. Oh boy. I guess it depends. <laughs> Whoa. Gotta get rid of those guys. Basically, any of these guys can kill me in one shot. It's always humbling. Um. Okay. Uh, we're still alive. Pride is, uh, slightly wounded. Alright. Jeez! What is this map? Man Cub Up? By Evil... Evil Ned. Okay. Jungle Book reference? I... I don't know. I can honestly say I'm not enjoying this, though. Can't activate that. All right, I guess we'll run over here and get blasted through the floor. <laughs> That's cool. Can you can you stop? <laughs> Jeez, this is kind of painful. Right. Plasma rifle. Better save that, I guess. And that just activates it. Oh my goodness. Ay, ay, ay. Alright, let's uh, go up here and then. That's gonna be an arch file, isn't it? No. Just gonna be a tank. No. Oh. My first instinct was to grab the rocket launcher because I have rockets. I just have no no launcher. I Yeah, don't make it like this, please. <laughs> this is uh not pleasant. And this type of stuff kind of reminds me of, like, people taking the wrong lessons from stuff like the Mucus Flow. This feels like resource deprivation just cause. Like, it doesn't really serve any purpose other than to annoy the player. Like that infamous thing where you give the player eight rockets, but there's no rocket launcher. So you're stuck chain gunning Mankubai. Fucking hell. And I could use the plasma rifle, but I don't really trust the map to do that. Or to, you know. You know what I mean. <laughs> so that's the red door. Okay. And now we're in the. Sh oh, really? Have a fucking Baron guarding a goddamn chainsaw? Oh jeez, this is just. I don't understand why you would have a Baron guarding a freaking chainsaw. It's like the least desirable weapon. Okay. Don't shoot anything I don't have to. Kind of seems like Evil Ned runs the gamut of just maps like this and, I don't know, maps that are actually fun. <laughs> Alright, maybe that's a little too harsh. <sighs> I mean, I did manage to avoid that Baron. Of course, there's also the possibility that I could have just went the wrong way. Who knows? We'll see. <laughs> it's actually like one of the reasons that I end up calling uh, 
a couple times end up calling Antares a consummate gentleman during the uh, playthrough of Reliquary. It's just because he has a tendency to dupe up on the weapons. So it doesn't matter which path you take. You'll always end up getting a super shotgun at some point. You'll always end up getting a chain gun at some point. It's just considerate map design, I guess. Not saying all maps have to be considerate necessarily, but uh, makes them more accessible, that's for sure. Oy. Now I gotta just dive through a bunch of hurt floor and get to a switch that I need to press. It's, mm. What is this, Doom 2 in Spain only? <laughs> Alright, that's overstating it a little bit, I think. Uh, Warehouse District was... Uh, kind of a slog. It just sort of... It just kept going and going. Wait, the secret? Hold up. I don't know. I'll figure it out at some point. But yeah, it was just kind of a slog. There was a lot of back and forth. Like, unnecessary, uh... Backtracking. Felt like it kind of went on a little bit longer than it needed to. It did have a nice aesthetic. I did enjoy that. But... Wasn't super thrilled about the gameplay. Ugh. Damn chain gunners. Oh yeah, I can I can definitely say that I am enjoying this one substantially less. <laughs> Although at least the uh, weapon supply is opening up a little bit, I suppose. Glad they waited until now to give me a radiation suit, though. Still no rocket launcher. And they keep giving me rockets. And just has a love affair with Mancubi. Oh, man cup man cube up. Okay, I get it now. Ah <sighs> good stuff. So I guess we're gonna be seeing a lot of Mancubi in this level. That's awesome. <laughs> I don't know, maybe things improve. I, I think uh, B- minus might be a little too generous for this map. Oy. Okay, that doesn't open. Yet. I don't really want to grab that rad suit until I have a good reason to grab it, so we're going to skip that for now. Hmm. I will say this does feel somewhat experimental. Maybe? I don't know. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, get the rocket launcher way too late. Which I guess is better than not getting it at all, but uh, you know. Yeah, Warehouse, I don't think would be... I don't think it would be too bad to replay when you actually know where to go. Uh, it's not super blind friendly. I mean, I guess it's not blind to unfriendly. It's just um, maybe blind to inefficient might be the best way to put it. So, wait. How, when did... What? I mean, thank you, but... I don't get it. <laughs> Which, yeah, I guess blind inefficient's a lot better than blind unfriendly. It's not like I had really any trouble getting through it. It's just that, uh, wind up in that situation. Oh my god. You wind up in that situation where you have, uh, switches where you're not entirely clear what they do. So you just end up backtracking a whole bunch. Um, let's 
gonna finish these guys off with the chain gun. Whoa. Easy there, buddy. Huh. How did I detonate that one? There we go. At least I have some weapons now. That definitely helps. Okay. Alright. And again, I'm not sure when I'm going to need the radiation suits. I mean, I guess they'd be helpful for uh, preventing some chip damage all across the level, but... I don't know. I tend to just save them for when I have to wade through radiation for an extended period of time. Oh. Alright, well, just... Jeez. Bullied. I don't believe I have the Berserk. So. Too bad. So sad. Ooh. That could have been a nasty caco. It was just barely visible. And it could have easily just went right in the nasty position and prevented me from moving. Ah. <laughs> that was weird. And where's the... Oh. Well, that's easy. Hmm. Come on. Thank you. <laughs> Doesn't matter. As long as they go down. I don't think they can... Well, let's say no clip through those bars. Oh, this is going to be fun. It's going to be a ton of fun. Oh, boy. Yeah. Well, that was no clipping. Thanks. Alright. This is, uh... Oh boy. One of those maps clearly punishes you for going for 100% kills. Because my goodness... This is tedious. Alright, I think you're the last one. Are you kidding me? A fucking Baron. <sighs> okay, let's just, uh... Cool, thanks. That's great. That's great. Well, at least I'm saving my cells, so that's kind of nice. That way, if it does it again, I'll just use that. Actually, screw it. Let's uh, use it right now. Because there's like 8 billion Mankey by. Because turns out that's the entire gimmick of the map. Is that it has a shit ton of Mankey by. Okay, and they seem to be positioned in such a way where their fireballs really have a nasty habit of going through the walls. Oh, and don't know it. Hell yeah. Ow. Mm-hmm. That it? I mean, for the manky buy, anyway. I hope so. <laughs> Well, there's only, like, uh, 19 enemies left. Yay. <laughs> Bloodstain. I've heard of Bloodstain. I don't... I don't know where, though. Really? No. Why do I... I hate you. <laughs> I hate you. All right, we're fine. We're fine. Archie's down. Did I hit that. Well, heard a revenant shriek. And now there's plasma. Yay. Hmm. 
Hmm, very hard. Like, uh... What kind of hard are we referring to? Like, Speed of Doom hard? Sunlust hard? Swim with Whales hard? I don't know. Might be something I'd be willing to put on the list if it's, uh... I don't know. I always keep saying, oh yeah, I'll work on something a little simpler, and then I end up playing Swim with the Whales. Yeah. Look, no one ever said I was smart. Mm hmm. Yeah, I'll just let them come to me and just use uh, old Bessie here. Or maybe they won't, because they can't. Okay. That works. Oh, okay. Yeah, if it's around Sunlust here, I'd be m more than willing to give that a shot. Alright, I'm getting out of here. Screw this map. Wait, what's back here? No, it's probably just a teleporter for if you fall down. Anyway, we're just... yeah. Okay, that was... Uh, that was a map. Not one that I particularly enjoyed, but it is it is a Doom map. Uh, I mean, it wasn't too bad after I got some ammo, but the beginning of the part the beginning part of it was it kind of dragged, and then that one little like oh that maze with all the mancubi and them just ah uh, four out of ten. The Prisoner by Cannonball. I actually did get to read that one. Oh, really? Is it going to be one of these? Um. Right. Okay. Well, it's a good thing that they left me with my pistol, I guess. So that I could shoot that convenient cell release switch. Uh. Hmm. Okay. Had some decent luck with the chainsaw. Nope. Yep. Thanks, block map. See, this is what happens when I talk. I end up insta-jinxing myself. Part of instant karma. Instant jinx. Okay, that's a yellow... Uh, oh, okay. I was gonna say, is that unmarked? Because that's very D-zone if it is. Forgot to mark your secret. Or mark the wall as secret. I heard a hell night. I'm thinking they're probably further up down the hall. These prison guards are very aggressive, I gotta say. It's almost like I'm breaking out of prison or something. Alright. Hmm. Yay, shotgunning hell knights. Ugh, oh, this is. Is getting tedious. Wait, what map is this? 15. Okay, so there's probably a secret level exit. So you have to actually find the secret level exit, right? It's not just uh, not just a gimme when you get to, to map 15. Just want to make sure. So I imagine some of these projects probably treat things a little differently. Probably a monster closet. Oh, this map is aesthetically kind of neat. I don't know if I'm super crazy about not having a super shotgun, but, you know. Maybe I'll get one soon. Who knows? Well. <laughs> there's a super shotgun. Also an arch file. Okay, there he is. Looks like I could probably telefrag him, because there is that berserk up there. But there's a lot of stuff going on out there. Hmm. Yeah, that is a secret area. What the? Okay. I'm not sure what kind of angle that would have had to be able to hit me like that, but uh, whatever. Damn it. Just one health. Is that too much to ask for? 
Is that these prison guards are very, very unwelcoming. <laughs> I think that's probably the idea. I don't think they're supposed to be friendly. You know, guys, if you ask politely, maybe I would get back in my cell, but you guys are just being jerks. Hmm. Ooh, that was almost bad. That's what I love about Doom, just basically, uh, SR-40 down these little pathways, and you go super fast, and everything just kind of infights. Oh. Sorta. Oh, great. I don't even know how I got bumped in there, but that sucked. <sighs> what? Oh, okay. God damn it. I gotta do all this again. You lost soul. Can I raise you some bullets? Alright, I'm gonna take out that... I think that was that one skelly that ended up giving me a nasty uh, headache before. So we're gonna go ahead and just uh, kind of shoot him. A few times. Followed by a few more times. And... Uh, there you go. That's more like it. Pick off these, uh, here, skelly, or skellies. Zombie men. I, okay, that went through the fucking staircase. I, you know. There you are. I knew I saw one kind of walk up from behind me before. Good to finally put a name to the face. Or a face to the name. Okay, uh. Revenant? Revenant? Stop running around. And get wrecked. You're not getting wrecked fast enough. There you go. That's more like it. Okay, so let's go ahead and just stand here. Took care of those guys. A quick save. Drop down and grab the armor. Uh, you know, I've seen enough Mancubi, trust me. And unfortunately, it doesn't look like the teleporter that brings you to that berserk is in this immediate area, unless it's, it's not that. Okay, I didn't think so. Um. Okay, wait. I see that switch down there. Fortunately, it kind of took a hit from a Mancubus. So blah, 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 blah. What? Oh, I see it. Found it. <laughs> All right, well that was it's easy when you know where to look. And punch you. And I'll just take these guys out. I'm not actually in dire straits like I was last time, so I can just take it a little bit, take it nice and slow. Take it easy. You know, like I always say. Take it easy, copyright, Spectre, 2022. Alright. There we go. That wasn't so bad. Oh, so, uh, approaching this room from a different angle, I see. Yeah, go ahead and just do your thing. I'm gonna go over this way and... Kinda get some more infighting going, I guess. That was the Cyber Demon. Yeah... My favorite. Really wish I had a rocket launcher. But I'm pretty sure that's being guarded by those uh, spooky, scary, skelly boys. Also, hearing that cyber demon somewhere over 
yonder, and that's not making me feel very comfortable. <laughs> okay. What activates that switch? Well, first of all... Yeah, thanks. Alright. That's my next project, is working out how to activate... So I can see it going up and down, I'm just not sure where the line def trigger is, and I don't really have time to figure it out. I'll get there eventually. Okay, you... oh. And I completely missed. Uh, so I'll just take pot shots in the center. Go away. Mm hmm. Yeah, because I can't really get enough super shoddy spread. There we go. Easy peasy. Good. So that's where the switch is. Nope, you don't just poke it. So... Show me your secrets. There it is. So, what did that... What did that do? Uh... That one time... Oh, I get it. That seems, um... I don't know. It's fine, I guess. I think I have a feeling I... I have a feeling I know where that cyber demon is. Oh, maybe not. I figured he'd be out here. Okay, seriously. Beside the rocket launcher. There we go. Uh, well, you know, we're still fine. But it would definitely be a nice to have. That's for sure. I guess I deal about as much damage with a ro as a rocket launcher. At close range, anyway. So, could be worse. Why do I get a feeling those um, armor pickups were an arrow? It almost looked like they were, but I'm not sure. <laughs> Wasn't paying that close attention to it. Gonna grab all this stuff. Oh, ha ha, ha. Found it. Okay, so it turns out there is a rocket launcher. I just, uh, I didn't pick it up. So, yeah, we have it now. Awesome. Let's do that. What about this? Okay. I guess we go back. How did... What the hell? I like I legitimately could not move around that pillar for some reason. <laughs> yeah, well. That's always been my big problem is just not... Like, getting too close to pillars and walls and stuff like that. Especially with Doom Engine's collision being what it is. Yeah, well. One of these days I'll break that habit. But walls make me feel so cozy. Okay, glad I have the backpack. Good. Wait, let me get that stim pack. Okay, so this map's pretty okay so far after you get a little ways into it. Maybe, I don't know. Where's that arch file? There's the arch file. Ooh, that was lucky. Stupid fucking cacos. Gotcha. You bastard. <sighs> wow, this is, uh, tricky. Right, let's try to pick off those uh, chain gunners. Oh, thank you. Alright, now that you're isolated, you are not a problem. Not even close to a threat. Okay, there's another switch that I'm not really sure what it does, but I guess we'll figure it out together. Good stuff. And that raised the platform, and it's giving me a suspicious amount of ammo. Alright, let's see what happens. Yep. 
Yeah. Like I said, a suspicious amount of ammo. Pretty good trap, though. All right, so just need to clean up. Kind of easy at cheese, though, when you're sort of anticipating it. Oh, there you are. Look at you. There we are. Okay, the most dangerous targets are down. Just don't fall in the waste. That would be bad. That'd be very bad. Okay. Oh, randomly opening doors. Okay, not randomly, I know. There we go. This one's got really good action. I am uh, definitely okay with this one. Right, so that's just where I've been. Nice little interconnected areas. Okay, wait a minute. I see two-sided line deaths that haven't been flagged as secrets. That also have a green tint on the wall. Look at that. I don't know what that switch would have done, but... I guess we'll find out. Hmm. <laughs> hey, it's all good. I mean, really, these maps, there's only so much you can say. They're fairly, I mean... I don't know. I don't know if it's kind of mean to say unremarkable. But generally, they are kind of uh, unremarkable. <laughs> Ooh, that was close. Almost got caught in the Skelly's grasp. I don't know why he has such a bone to pick with me. Jeez. <laughs> uh, Busting out the Sans air er, Sans level humor here. Uh, if you can call it that. Alright. Oh yeah, Hell's Furnace was Yeah. That was absolutely lovely. I'm sure there's going to be a fair share of standouts as we kind of plow through this, but, um, yeah, it's like by the nature of the project, ow, you know, you're, you're going to end up having that situation. And I will freely admit that if I submitted a wad, or if I submitted a level to a pack like this, mine would probably be very much in the unremarkable category. But hey, I did do that remake of uh, Blood Falls. <laughs> really? There we go. Okay, so the... Uh, kind of sounds like the best stuff is probably... Um, kind of pushed more towards the back of the Megawad then. Well, it does seem kind of funny that they, uh, would... Because, I mean, it starts on kind of a ho-hum note. Kind of seems to me like you'd almost want, like, a better, uh... Better start than a better end. Well, okay, no. You want a good start and you want a good finisher. The middle can be whatever. Hmm. Hmm. There we go. Oh my goodness. It's getting bumped all over the place by giant hitboxes. Alright, we're, we're good now. Do wish I had a plasma rifle. It's probably another one that I missed by going down the quote wrong path. You asshole. That's great. Thanks, Mo thank you, Momentum. Oh, fuck you. It's not a good arena for Archviles. I mean, it's a good one for them to wreck you. <laughs> not so much to fight them. What the hell? 
I don't know why that I couldn't move back, but uh, Doom Engine. It's also a terrible place to fight pain elementals. This is just a lot for such a packed arena. Hmm. Okay. And your turn. Good. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, that kind of makes sense. And I guess really you want to kind of open it with, um... Wait, what's up there? I guess really if you, um, do want to open a megawatt, you do kind of want to open it with, um, more basic levels. You don't want to start it off with a magnum opus or anything like that, that's for sure. Uh, wow. Okay. That was annoying. But yeah. I mean, overall, this is, uh, definitely a far cry from stuff like D-Zone. <laughs> like, I imagine this, at its worst, is probably, well, better than your average D-Zone wad. Which, to be fair, largely because the, uh, tooling and everything was so primitive back then. Hmm. I mean, that computer map would be kind of nice. What do I have to do to get it? Is there another hidden switch type of thing? Or... Something like that. Um... Why did the yellow key not spawn anything? I am a little concernicus right now. A lot of stuff... In the walls? I don't know if it's from a... Yep. Okay. <laughs> nice little ambush. Oh, that's how I escaped. Hmm. Wait. That is not an exit switch. Door shut, buddy. Sorry. Okay. That is also not an exit switch. <clears throat> oh, the descent. Got it. <laughs> okay, not so much. Not too much of a descent. That's good. Oh my goodness. Tacos are, um, being a bit of a pain, gotta say. Alright, cool. Skelly machine. You know, I can get behind that. Mm-hmm. I have a feeling it's not over yet. Nope, other side. Or not. Um, it's one of those things where I have to hit a switch and then hit another switch. Yeah, I think so. Oh my goodness. Yeah, why wouldn't there be a pain, a bunch of pain elementals? I have absolutely no good weapons to fight them. Wow. Um, okay. Alright. That's a pain in the ass. Okay, they gave me cells. There needs- there's gotta be a plasma rifle somewhere, because I really need one. It's not really a good way to, f to handle that last room without it. Uh... 
At least I know where that cyber demon went. Ha <laughs> ha. Alright, so there's gotta be another secret. There's that one with the auto map. Hmm. I'm not seeing any other secrets. At least not... Nothing obvious. I really need that map, so... Can I get the map? Show me the map. Looking for switches again. This is one of those things where I run into the room and it drops it. I don't know. Hmm. Oh. Found it. Okay. So now what do we... Now what do we've got? <sighs> hmm. I'm not seeing any other rooms. Just the exit run. Okay. Seems a little cruel and unusual. Let me double check down here. I think I've only gone down here once. Maybe I missed a weapon. It kind of doesn't seem like it. Did it actually give me cells or was that just from backpacks? I'm not really sure. I thought it just gave me cells, but mm, could be wrong. Wouldn't be the first time. Won't be the last time. But at least I'll usually admit it. Sometimes. If I feel like it. It's kind of a rough final fight. Especially without some sort of good close range weapon with high DPS. Uh. Right. Well, go ahead and save here and give it another shot. Really? <sighs> Try to block. Nope. Not gonna happen. Oh, forgot I don't have rockets. Oh, this is such a crapshoot. It's just so jam packed. Um, uh, okay. Go ahead and take care of the delinquent. Already down a freaking soul sphere. Uh, stop in fighting. Thank you. Hmm. Run, run the gantlet. <laughs> yeah. That does work. Oh God. Freaking cyber demon. The heck? I don't like those uh, revenants, but I don't have much of a choice. Okay. Oh shit! All right. Everything's fine. Go away from the wall, please. Thank you. <sighs> Damn. I don't know, I kind of like Civvy's, <laughs> Civvy's spelling. The gauntlet. That made me chuckle a little bit harder than it probably should have, but uh, that's okay. Hmm. No. <laughs> Not so much. So, what did that do? Oh. Yes. 
Does that bring you... Oh, it brings you back to your cell. How, uh... How lovely. Oh, now that's just naughty. Uh... Okay, I'm guessing... Alright, well I remember in that one secret there was that random switch... That, uh... Okay. Oh, jeez. <laughs> yeah, that... That's just naughty. Yeah, I remember that... Wait, what? I heard a... I heard a lift. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, anyway, one of these secrets over here had a uh, switch inside of it. Actually, two of them did. There was also this one. And I kind of have a feeling I need to find one more of those. So, uh, we might be here for a while. Fortunately, it's also possible... Yeah, there's this one. I'll go ahead and just mark that. Uh... Yeah. So it's entirely possible that... Well, okay. It's most likely <laughs> that, um, you have to do that to unlock the secret level exit, I guess? I'm assuming that's what this is, because it is optional. Look at the back of the- ah, uh, thank you. Oh, I would- <laughs> thank you for the hint, because if you didn't say that, I would have been looking around this for hours. <laughs> Maybe not hours. I would have probably looked- I, I would have probably doom wikied it, but it would have taken a while. Ooh, that is mean. Okay, cool. I was gonna say, because I don't remember seeing any more of those. Oh, nice little 100% thing. Oh, okay. I'm missing an item, but... Eh. <laughs> Alright, well that was pretty fun. Solid action all the way through few fights that were um, pretty damn cramped, I gotta say. Alright, what do we got next? Or what intermission text do we have? Bruised and flummoxed, you awaken at the bottom of the bleeding chute, limbs achingly weak. In the distance are echoes of unearthly groans and metallic screams. The vestibule is but the silver maw of a once thriving machine, now rendered cold and dead. You pull yourself up to your feet and utter a solitary SHIT! Wiping the blood off your visor. You hope you won't find whoever the hell lived in this place before you barged in. Torches flicker and dance along the wall, promising to illuminate your path. Better, t better pay attention then. Okay. Whoa, this is, uh, kind of trippy. <laughs> Alright. This is Iron Exu... Uh, E-X-U-V-I-A-E. Dubugabumaru. Flummox is a very good word. Now, if you want- if you want bullshit secret exits, uh, take a look at Microslaughter Map 15. I don't think you were really expected to get that one. Oh, jeez. Skellingtons with a pistol. Please, no. Hmm. Ooh, nice. Truly graduating with top honors. This is kind of neat. Actually flows surprisingly well for how tight these corridors are. Hmm. And it's uh, not as bad as that one D zone maze that I ended up going in during the stream. Is there anything else over here? Maybe? Nope. Uh, yeah, looks like I covered all the paths that I can explore. 
Okay. Give me goodies. Ooh. Very environmental. I don't like how it locked me in here. <laughs> Whoa. Toasty. Alright. Whoa. Uh, looking good. So, over here. Hmm. There's two things. Yep, that's closed. That looks like a lift, but it's not lifting. Oh. <laughs> Alright. That didn't take too long to figure out, I guess. Huh. Oh, wow. Also, I'm just going to take the time to remind everybody that this is a vanilla limit-removing map. And damn that architecture. Holy crap. Hmm. Alright. Down here. Down here. Jeez. This is like back to Saturn X scale using vanilla textures, and uh, that's pretty cool. Alright, yellow key. Some sort of puzzle, maybe? Nope, it does go back up. Hmm. Probably not too bad, actually. Maybe. <laughs> I don't really know. Whoa! Bouncy. I think I just go up here and... Ooh, nasty. Ooh, and they're blocked from showing up on the auto map. Sneaky, sneaky. So hold up a second. Hmm, what is the method to the madness here? Yeah. Is there something with a floor texture maybe? I'm not seeing anything from the side of the Wuchmafu- Ah, Is that just a- okay. Staircase back up. Got it. Hmm. So cryptic puzzles, which means I am probably screwed. <laughs> Yeah, so obviously I can't really take the direct route. So is this just like kind of a... Okay, so it's like the golden gun puzzle where I have to basically follow a specific path. Alright. No, not that one. This one. So go over here over here then nope wait, wait a minute if I go one more over no okay oh man I'm so hyped about the golden eye remaster that game is, uh, quite nice. Hold up a second. So I tried all the paths, right? What about straight ahead? 
No. What? What if I go from here over there? Um. No. Okay. I don't get it. I can't go towards it. What if I go here and then here and then jump over there? Son of a bitch. Uh, yes, please. <laughs> Even if there's like a solution elsewhere in the map, that'd be uh, very helpful. Hmm. Look for movement behind the switches. <laughs> Alrighty, Discord. Thank you for stopping by. Uh, appreciate it. And, um, hope you enjoy the, uh, Skeleton Fest. Okay. Oh. Oh my. So let's see. Okay. So there's those two. Oh, I think I, I think I see. Okay. Yeah, because these ones are all not moving. Wow, that is a weird puzzle. Oh, thanks for the hint. Uh, we would have been here for a while <laughs> if you didn't mention that. That is really obscure. Like, I don't... I don't think I ever would have connected the two of those things together. Like, I thought that was just decoration. Holy crap. Alright, well, save. <laughs> Jeez. Wait, the yellow door was back here. Okay. Yikes. Alright. Well, that's handled. Whoa, that's, uh, a really cool-looking effect. Almost just gives it, like, that infinity mirror type of look in a way. But wasn't there another path? Or is this... Wait. <laughs> that's a lot of barrels. Now, there's another path up above, right? Let me go back there real quick. Mm-hmm. Or is this one of those, like, choose-your-own-adventure type of things? You choose one path and that's it. Nope. Nope. That's, uh... Maybe. I don't know. Alright. Well, let's just go to the room with all the barrels? And, uh, see, what, see what's going on over here. Kind of thinking it's probably a bad idea to shoot those. Wait, how do I? I know I had to hit the other one that looked like that. Hmm. Nope. Oh, more of this. Nope, can't get around that. Well. Probably gonna regret this, but here we go. There we are. Oh. Oh boy. <laughs> there we go. So wait, what did I what exactly did I miss by jumping down here? I, I'm gonna reload real fast. Or was shooting the barrels even a good idea in the first place? I'm not really sure. 
Because I, I guess I don't technically have to shoot them. Unless I want to go this way. Oh. That was loud. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, just kind of sneak around this way and go up the stairs here. Okay. And again, I really like the MIDI. Goes absolutely perfectly with a map like this. So, wait a minute. So I'm on one of the other sides, I'm assuming. So is that kind of the thing where I'm just sort of making a lap around the map? Hmm. I don't know if that's the appropriate way of using torches, but... Oh well, you know. What you gonna do? To each their own, as they say. So... Give me a lot of health bonuses. Those were uh, a lot of crushers. That I'm going to have to navigate, it looks like. Well, let's try just getting all the items, I suppose. I don't know how successful I'll be. Wait a minute. Alright, well, let's give this a shot, I guess. Ooh. That was harrowing. <laughs> Second one actually doesn't look as bad. I'm gonna save scum. I'm not fond of crushers. Well, at least this one has the uh, nicely lit areas, so it's not quite as much of a panic attack. And this appears to be some sort of clock. Oh, figure out the regular exit, then replay and observe more closely for the secret exit. Huh. Alrighty. Also can't help but notice that this is... Alright, one, two... Five, six, three, four. Hmm. I don't know if the person who did this knows how a clock works. All right. Well. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I'll go ahead and just. Oopsie. Oh, balls. <laughs> I don't know. I've never seen a clock that looked like that. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure it's a puzzle solution of some description. So what is the deal with... Well, that's just useless. I don't want to be down here. Yeah, it's probably not a clock. <laughs> so I think I accidentally picked the right one the first time. Hold up. I think... So there was this thing back here. Oh, I get it. Alright. Well, actually, did I save up? Yeah, close enough. Ow. Ow. Okay, that's... <laughs> that's not gonna fly. Sorry. Mm-hmm. Right, so... <laughs> One, two... Alright, so if we start... I guess between the legs, I don't know. So one, two, and the cross is three. I better write this down. Uh, damn it. See, this is why I should have some sort of, I'll just scribble on my phone, why not? Notes, notes. 
All right, how do I do this? There we go. Found it. Give me just a moment. All right, so one is between the legs. Two is immediately uh, inside of that, then five. Six is in the 12 o'clock position, then three and four. So now we go over here. So we got red. Oh, right, there's two different types of torches, too. Just to make things more interesting. So that's red tall. Then blue short. And then the one over here. Oh, wait. Nope, that's flipped around. Ha ha. Almost got me. Let me just erase this again real fast. Okay, so this one's actually, well, it's still red tall. Then to the, over there, that's green short. Then over here is blue short. Then green short again. Then over here we've got green tall. And over here we've got red tall. See, TNT taught me a few things. Sorta. All right, so what do we got here? We got red tall, green short, blue short, Green short, green tall, and red tall. All right, cool. <laughs> that, um, that was a thing. So that's a teleporter, that's a teleporter. I'm assuming that's one of the ones that bring you back to the beginning or let you backtrack. Hmm. Still kind of... Oh. Okay. <laughs> Still wondering what the kill count is all about. Yeah, that's... Uh... Is there another path? Oh, the... Oh, okay. So is it one of those things where you have to kind of take future puzzle solutions to the early parts of the map then? Hmm. Okay, there we go. Yeah, real quick, I'm, well... So I don't have to keep messing with my phone. Zero. Green short. And I can't help but notice there's a lot more uh, teleporter pads than I'm actually using. The other side of the water? So like the, uh, the right side? Mark these since I'm already in the process of doing that. Okay. Wait a minute. Okay. So. Okay, so that's always bring me to the left. Interesting. Okay. I 
I see. All right. So that brings me over here. So did that just raise the bar over on the other side? Or is it just kind of giving me the opportunity to do things a different way? Wait a minute. Is that symbol again? It looks like there's something over here. Yeah, those bars are still down. Okay. Man, that is wild. <laughs> hmm. Right, so let me, uh... So what is down there? Is it... I'm seeing a bunch of torches. It's the same arrangement of torches. Kind of looks like it is. Yeah, I did see the symbol over here. Hmm. Not seeing anything I can press, but thinking this probably means something. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I get it. I get it. It's going to be a little tricky to see, but... Okay, there we go. There we go. So that's, uh... That looks like short blue. Oh, damn it. Right, so... Two-finger drag. Alright, cool. So, short blue. And then short green. The one over I'm gonna actually put a marker here that way oh oh baby that way I have a pretty good idea of where that position is so it should be the one right in front of me which is blue sword I believe yeah blue sword And the one next to that. So I'll probably have to go back down here to see. <sighs> Red tall. Yeah, I can definitely see why I got A plus for difficulty. <laughs> And then across the way, that would be red short. And then it would be the 12 o'clock position. So I don't think I could see from here. I think I need to go around here. save rockets. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for the heads up. So would it be that? Um, uh, oh, hold up a second. I think I might have maybe made an oopsie. This is not easy, actually. <laughs> oh, no, wait. Right there. Yeah, right in front of me. That's... That's six. Number three is... Actually blue tall. Which means number six is blue short. Blue six... Or, <laughs> yeah. 
Okay, there we go. If you can find the right sequence, look to the left at the end. Oh, okay. Oh, man. <laughs> was indeed fairly tricky. So, let's go ahead and head back over this way. Probably could have just reloaded. That might have made a little bit more sense, but that's ah, okay. All right, so let's see if I got this right. So blue short, fuck, nope, <laughs> I did not. Damn it, I should have saved over there. All right, well, let's go back. Make sure I got the orientation on the symbol correct. Yeah, so in here, around here. Yeah, I think it, I think it was the wrong orientation. All right, so that's, yeah, between the legs. Any other good way to put it, unfortunately. Oh, no, that was blue tall. That's why. I didn't see the little, uh... The little metal piece around the flame. Well, my, while I'm over here, I might as well double check it. I think I'll go ahead and just drop a save. That way, if I need to go back, I can. So green short. Then in the... Upper left, or upper right, rather. Yeah, right there. That's blue tall. The one next to that <clears throat> is red tall. Then number five, which would be here. The left, that's red short. The number six, which is uh, all the way on top. That is indeed blue short. Okay, cool. So I'll just go ahead and reload from here. Save a few steps. And we got blue tall. All right, so far so good. Green short. Blue tall. Red tall. Red short, blue short. <laughs> Thanks for the heads up. <laughs> oh wow, that is sneaky. Hmm. So kind of... Alright. Armor. Just go ahead and bully this guy, I guess. Uh, come on. Oh, nice. I kind of had a feeling they'd, they'd do that. Good to have confirmation, though. All over, please. I could probably spare pistol ammo, but, uh, yeah. Okay, here we go. Mm-hmm. This is, uh, pretty spicy. <laughs> Trying to just wake things up, I guess. Oh, man. I don't have a rocket launcher. Uh, damn it. Okay, I don't need those. Hmm. Oh, I heard the switches go ka-chunk. Or at least one of them, anyway. So, no launcher yet, or did I just end up missing it? Oh, those are stim packs. Okay. So it's just giving you kind of a slow trickle of ammo, or health rather. Yeah, 
Yeah, I will, I will try. <laughs> I will try my hardest. Oh, I think I see the rocket launcher in the middle of a swarm. How did I miss that? Unless it wasn't down all the way. Okay, it's 24 rockets. I know there's more available here. Oh. What the hell? I... Uh, I don't... I had a clear path behind me. I don't know how the hell I got stuck. Alright, well. Let's go ahead and try that again. Ah, uh, okay. So the rocket launcher doesn't open up immediately. Got it. Hmm. Okay, now it's available. Yeah, I'm not sure. It's funny, it's like, um... It's one of those things, like, I'm okay-ish at puzzle games. But I'm not used to playing Doom as a puzzle game. <laughs> so, um... Would have definitely taken a little while. When I'm kind of in the zone, I can... work things out. But, yeah. Oh, not at all. Uh, so like I said, I'm not, I'm not used to, like, when I'm playing Doom, I'm not used to putting myself in puzzle-solving mode, so, um... That just ended up saving a substantial amount of time. Oh my goodness. And really, the hints were kind of subtle enough that it just basically pushed me into puzzle-solving puzzle mode. So, I mean, it really worked out pretty much most of the details in the puzzle on my own. Oh, baby. It's, uh... Ooh. Well, you know, if you want to graduate to the next stage of puzzle game, uh, give the uh, Telos Principle a shot. That one's uh, a bit of a ball buster. It's by Crow Team, of all people. Alright. Should probably try to grab some more rockets. Oof. Alright, uh... It's pretty tense, I gotta say. Easy does it. Something, something eternal doom. Oh, really? Fucking Hell Knight asshole. Ah. Uh. Gracious. Hmm. The arch files? Oh, I see. Good old multi stage fights. Damn it. I was hoping I would actually hit the arch file. I imagine if I want to kill anything, it's basically let let them in fight as much as possible and then just take out the arch files. 
Seems to me like it would make the most sense. Uh, hmm. Not giving me much of an opportunity, unfortunately. Uh, boy. Come on, Archies. Alright, I'm gonna need you guys to... Oh, you fucking... God damn it. It's like impossible to get to that rocket launcher after uh, during certain parts of this. Okay. It's gonna, I guess, <laughs> turbo around the arena and uh, kind of get them all shooting each other. Seems like I'm on a pretty good, uh, oh, was on a pretty good rhythm for just circle strafing to win. Um, okay. Now, ideally, those Hell Knights and such will fling enough things at the Arch Files to weaken them, but, yeah, I'm not going to count on that. They're very fickle. Right, so... How are they out here? Oh, RNG. <laughs> hmm, I heard flames, which means the Archfile's infighting with something. Yeah, this, this is a really good midi. It perfectly encapsulates just kind of the feeling of the map. Oh, one Archie down. Oh, boy. Hmm. Probably shouldn't be grabbing those boxes. Not when it's wasting ammo, anyway. Fuck you. Can't see. Alright, there we go. Mm, still can't get to the rocket launcher. I'm guessing there's probably something really nasty that comes up after this. Because this is, uh... I mean, harrowing. But generally doable? I, I can't even get to the rocket launcher, unfortunately. Oh. Okay, another one down. Uh, need to try to lead them away. Somehow. Easier said than done. I think they might be far enough away. I might be able to grab that. Nope. Disengage! Disengage! Holy shit. I think all the Archies are dead. That's kind of nifty. Imps, man. Oh, jeez. <laughs> okay. Got the rocket launcher. Health is kind of up. Hmm. So I'll just start kind of picking some of these guys off. To a certain extent. Oh, thank you. Yeah, most of them kind of took care of each other. That's good. I think it's mostly just Hell Knights to the left. Plenty of, uh, plenty of shells. I almost said cells. Heh. <laughs> Keep dreaming. All 
Right. It's almost like the imps didn't stand a chance against the Hell Knights. Weird. Okay, give me shells. Up. Oh. Give me shells. <laughs> Double kill. Right, okay. So... Anyone left? I guess I'm just gonna go ahead and collect rockets. Seems like an appropriate uh, thing to do. There we go. And they're all in the lava, unfortunately. Damn. That's some hurt floor. I noticed that one had a candle. And I can't help but wonder if that's significant. Yeah, because these all had rockets. Alright, everything's... Everything in here is dead, at least. Okay. Well, that was, uh... That was a switch. Ah. Okay. Now what? <laughs> I'm assuming this is probably where I need the rocket launcher. Alright, they're giving me blue armor. That's probably not good. This, uh... Really reminds me of Sunder. <laughs> That's also probably not good. Hmm. Right. My trust level is kind of at an all-time low right now, so, uh... Yeah. We'll see how this goes. Gotta say, though, it's kind of like a nice, uh... You know, with lava instead of death pits. That's, uh, very accurate, actually. But I gotta say, uh, this is really, oh, hello, Ugh. damn it, damn it, damn it, actually I don't remember what I was gonna say, <laughs> I got distracted, alright, I've got a full supply of rockets, god what's gonna be over here? Oh. And to think, Discord left before the grand finale. <laughs> well, Francis, I think I see why you had me save the rockets. <laughs> because, oh boy, this would have been uh, a lot of fun without them, that's for sure. Damn it! Ugh, stupid pillars. Okay. I mean, the pillars aren't stupid when they block revenant missiles, so... Just to be perfectly clear. They are stupid when they block my rockets, though. Like, can we just have a thing, like a sort of Mancubian exception, where uh, it blocks their shots, but not mine? Because I'd appreciate that. All right. I think some of them actually got stuck on the, on the elevator. So, uh, yeah. Oof. That's a little bit safer. In terms of health consumption, anyway. Ow. Hey, 10 damage hit. That's, uh, shockingly generous. 
Right, so there's ten... Skelly dudes left. Oof. Those are some nasty hits. You know, against me. Oh, we're getting we're getting them all, trust me. Alright. Nope. Stuck on the platform. And I'm stuck not being able to hit the button. Oh wait. You weren't stuck. Wait. Why is it saying there's four enemies left? Hopefully it's like four Commander Keens or something. Oh boy. I hear... oh boy. I'm stuck. Ah, thought they did for some reason. Mm-hmm. Now I just need to not get hit, Lamau. Easier said than done. Oh, you fuck stick. Basically, I called him a dick. Eh. Alrighty. Alright, let's do that again. <laughs> oh, I got hit several times. Okay. Man, this is a really tricky arena. Because these guys just kind of walk in, they're like, hello! Yeah, that's true. I like to take the uh, direct approach, though. For better or for worse. Usually for worse. What the? Jeez. I am invincible! Speaking of Goldeneye. Alright, there we go. Easy. See? See, I, I didn't- I didn't- I didn't need to do infighting. Oh, I saved. It's almost like I have trust issues. All right, there we go. And jump. Whoo! Damn. That was uh, actually a really fun puzzle map. <laughs> the puzzles were enjoyable. The combat was um, actually pretty harrowing. Thank you for the tips, Francis. Much appreciated. Time The time would have probably been doubled if you didn't give me those, so. Made things a lot easier. All right. This just gets freakier and freakier the more you deviate. From an ironed out nightmare, you emerge into an aquatic valley that somehow the monsters decided to inhabit. Wait, what's the logic behind the fiery creatures being able to breathe under the ocean anyways? Or you, or you for that matter. You don't care. A gut feeling inside of you tells you to rip them a new one. Alright, cool. So apparently this one is under the sea. Okay. Riptide. By Getsufune. Alrighty, well, it is after midnight. And, uh, actually, yeah, that's a very good Mount Pain quote. That <laughs> basically, um, describes that map to a T. So, we Map 32 without a thousand plus enemies is a pleasant surprise. Yeah, pretty much. I don't know, it's like the, uh... <laughs> it feels weird, though. Like, I'm not used to that anymore. <laughs> well, of course, actually, no, I can't say that, because technically speaking, the other day I did play a map 32 that had zero enemies. 
And it ended with a, uh, well, yeah, you'll see. <laughs> if you haven't already. There you go. Jeez, it takes them a while. Whew, all right. Yeah, 31 was a really solid map. Um, I have to say this one is already kind of disappointing that it's not a boom boom level because you can't have the uh, blue color maps, but ah, what you gonna do? But anyway, it is uh, time for me to sign off for the evening. That was a lot of fun. Looking forward to finishing this, this up next week. Well, possibly finishing it up next week. We'll see. But uh, yeah, it's, um, it's been above D-Zone quality consistently. Excuse me, consistently. So, yeah. Oh, geez, some lost thirty-two. <laughs> well, you know, that's that whole thing. It's not the size that counts; it's how you use them. Oh boy. Yeah, a lot, a lot of arch files. Oh, that end fight is such BS. But I mean, you know, it's got its own type of charm. I actually like the part leading up to the Archvile fight in uh, Sunless 32. It is quite... well... Edge of the seat, harrowing... <laughs> all those kind of words. Actually, if I remember correctly, I think I... Um, single-segmented Sunlust up until the Archvile fight. Or not, not Sunlust, but Sunlust 32. I don't remember, it's been a while. Holy crap. Yeah. Any hoot. I'm going to go ahead and sign off. So, uh, thank you guys very much for watching. Um, thank you very much for the hints. Much appreciated. Definitely got me into a bit more of a puzzly mode, or puzzle solvey mode. And, uh, yeah. That was actually a really cool map. That, that's definitely one of the memorable ones for me, that's for sure. Oh, most of Sunless doesn't have the hardest of encounters, but Sunless 32 is one of the harder AV hordes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> I don't remember how many times that took me. Quite a few. But, anyway. I'm gonna go ahead and cut it there. Uh, go ahead and get to bed and all that good stuff. But anyway, we'll pick this up next week from here. Actually got through the first half without too many issues. I'm sure it'll probably take, um... Well, I, I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> but anyway, thanks much, as always. And I'll see you guys next week. Good night, and take it easy.